Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Toonkind D&D. Right off the bat, I'm gonna start us off with, this is high angst. Uh, care yourselves, and if you aren't prepared for some unreality and some body horror going on here, uh, may maybe skip this one. Um, but otherwise, hello and welcome everybody. Uh, I am Hexabeast, Hex is fine, and I'm gonna be your DM for the day. We're gonna hope my little bit of a break hasn't just completely mushed my brain. And pray to every god we can <laughs> that this goes well. <laughs> and if my players can introduce themselves, uh, and also my scheming buddy can also introduce himself, uh, that would I be should. great. Yeah, you're the scheming buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. God. Hi, hi I'm Pavel. Uh, I, I, I am the scheming buddy. And I am also playing the fuck, fuck up fox. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. It's fine. You know, it's it's fine. It just went on a little walk and uh, didn't come home. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Even though it never <laughs> breaks a promise. Or at least tries not to. Mm hmm Foxes sometimes just go off on a wander. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything is not fine. We're all panicking the pick out. Mm -hmm. It's normal for Gibbs to just leave in the morning and then come back by dinner time. That, that's normal. Uh, what's not normal is this time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Anyway, <laughs> if my players could introduce themselves, starting from the top to the bottom. Hooray! It's me! It's me! Hi everyone, it's V-Wild on the bullshit. I'm scared! I have, <laughs> I, have theories, I have theories and partial context and so I'm scared and so is my monkey in a few minutes probably. I'm playing Detective Little in Stagehand. Mm -hmm. Oh, Scripture. That's me. Hi, I'm Kraken. <laughs> playing, uh... Wizard, Warlock Boy, Gregory, Danthe Devran, and, uh... Boy, his patron seat added it again, huh? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Hi. <laughs> uh, I'm RJ. I play, uh... Yes. <laughs> yes. We're in Halloween Town. RJ is Halloween Town. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there's a reason my nickname right now is the Menagerie. Um, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. The world that's you. Or the bird. Oh shit, that's me. Fuck. Um. <laughs> Shit, sorry, I have been awake for approximately 47 minutes. Um, Understandable, honestly. We love hi. you. Hi, I'm I'm Gail. I uh I'm here. I I play I play a bird. Mm -hmm. I play uh I play a funky he who time bird, and I just realized I should have rolled a D8 earlier instead of a D7, so I'm gonna do that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Before you get last to get a five. Ha! <laughs> well. You spoke it into <laughs> existence. Well. Mm -hmm. Well, that's gonna be interesting. Anyway, continue. Mm-hmm. That'll be fun. All right. We still got the net. We still got the net 20 to work with. Don't worry about it. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Cool. <laughs> so, uh, to start us everything off. Everything is fine. Yeah, everything's fine. Um... Except it's not quite fine. Uh, we start off no. on the outskirts of Halloween Town. There's a sort of range of motion, or a range, I'm sorry, a range of uh, effect, an area of effect, there we go, that Kara has. And so just on the cusp of that area, Kara was given a message. Roughly probably five days ago that simply went tell your masters they know where to find the fox and 
then that presence was gone. Except now, five days later, that presence is back. Meshi, I swear to God, I am painting a picture. <laughs> God damn it. Please. I have a cat. That Both of us my... fighting with our cats. Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, five, so five days later, that presence has returned. But they are not alone this time. They, uh, just outside of the entrance to the Uncanny Valley, there stands the Thrall. As they always look cloaked, face completely hidden. But there are two forms next to them now. One is the ever tall and looming presence of their pet. Currently in what you could possibly call relaxed relaxed anticipation and the other form is still in the tunnels of the valley starting to make its way up and they look back at that form give a slight nod and just say, let's see what they think of you now. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> shit. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to share anything yet, but that form does start to shamble, I guess would be the best way, uh, its way towards the town. Um, and that is our setup, which we then go into the town and, hey, everybody, how you handling the last five days? What y'all been up to? What you been doing with the knowledge? Probably badly. Yeah. Well, first and foremost, Carr resents the implication that Jacques and Scuppies are their masters. Yes, I understand that. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know this and I know this. Do you think the Thrall Thrall's cares? A bitch. She doesn't get to know that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, how if Halloween Town wasn't going to war before that, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was say, how how are the, how are they handling Kara one delivering that message? First of all, let's start with that. How's how's that gonna get handled? <laughs> oh boy um i figure i figured they got the council together hashed out a plan and that plan was basically go scout the manor mm -hmm. see if we can sneak in sneak out with uh with our friend with the fox um yeah mm -hmm. They would unfortunately rather quickly find that that would be uh, not a very viable option. For one, they see no evidence of anyone even being in the manor. Uh, even the Henricks seem to not be making their rounds as usual in those days uh, following getting that little message. Yeah, the location's been breached. It would be a bad idea to continue working there. Mm-hmm. Mm. But also, Sounds they would good. note that security was uh, significantly upped, so, you know. Yeah. After that, they case of figuring out where the fuck Thrall took the goddamn friend. Mm-hmm. Um. <laughs> Understandable. Hundred, Understand. Yeah. Hundred, 100%, one of the studies in the manor has been turned into a war room. Um. <laughs> Understandable. Oh, joyous. Big-ass map on the wall. Um, one of the valley, one of the above ground. Uh, in as far as the valley can be mapped, I suppose. Mm, yeah. Vague, vague notions of this is where the porcelain spiders are, this is where the ropers are, don't, don't go there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this, this is way too deep and we haven't catalogued it yet, under no circumstances are we going to. <laughs> there's, there's a little bit, there's a little bit more luck 
of Halloween Town, specifically mapping out the area specifically underneath Halloween Town, because that's also where Kara is. Yeah. Kara goes real deep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but <Dead rock. laughs> outside of that space, mm -hmm. much less knowledge. Mm -hmm. So, they're doing the rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is me, Wallace. Oh, go ahead. No, go yeah, ahead. You're first. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm, I'm changing focus, so you go first. It's probably not helping by uh, the fact that it seems just Thrall and Gibbs and everything of relating to them just kind of dropped off the planet for a brief bit there. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't imagine even trying to scry on Gibbs has had much luck. Nope. Uh, uh no. <laughs> Meanwhile, a certain other person just walks into town and is immediately like, oh, something bad has happened. <laughs> okay. Well, uh -huh. I, I, my feet took me here for a reason, so I guess I better go see what's up. <laughs> Reluctant. <laughs> Reluctantly going to try and offer help, I guess. <laughs> Understandable. How about, all right. Memoir, what have you been up to this, uh... Uh, is that thing that we talked about, like, ages ago still a factor? Oh, shit. I would uh, imagine so. Yeah, I think so. Possibly. With the screaming and the headache? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, that's, I would imagine that's so. That's a factor, yes. <laughs> Lynn oh. and oh, Memoir oh, both, oh, I'm oh, so oh. sorry. <laughs> which uh, I guess would be a good time to explain that. Uh, World will be able to paint it much better than I will. Uh, so yeah, he's uh, the one who, that... make, who made this fun, funky he-hoo thing. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, my fun, funky little contribution to our little den of nightmares. Um, so, memoir is a bit weird because he is essentially a touch telepath um, and has created a means by which uh, he can communicate with his friends long distance by creating uh, what is effectively a uh, symbolic form of constant touch through friendship bracelets uh, that he uses to communicate in his native language, which is the, the language Echo, a language that is uh, primarily um, comprised of shared memories, sensations, and emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a problem when the person on the other end of the line is screaming in pain and the filter gets ripped away. Yep. Um, so, you know, to paint you guys a lovely little picture of, uh, what's been going on in Memoir's side of the world, five days ago, he was just chilling in his barn where he spends most of his time, and then suddenly, owie, 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 owie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That sure is a fuck damned headache and a lot of screaming. Mm -hmm. Uh, and a lot of panic. And it um, goes on for a hot minute. It goes on for like 24 hours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he... Initially, he took off and tried to, like, get to the manor because, hey, I'm pretty sure they know Gibbs, and even if they don't, that's the place where I know the responsible adults live. <laughs> That's fair, yeah. Um, but about halfway there, it got to be too much because it just kept building. So he crashed in the forest or in the woods and had to just sit there with the pain for a while. Uh, but once it sort of calmed down a bit, uh, he was able to get back to, um, get back to the place he was trying to get to. Uh, I'm sorry, I am 
I'm usually better at painting word pictures than this. You're good. Uh, yeah, you can. We are headbutting you, the gentle. So there would have been, you know, about four days ago, I guess, very frantic knocking on the door uh, of the manor, followed by, you know, somebody being greeted by a very frazzled bird with sticks in his hair. Mm-hmm. Who would have just been like, uh, hello, I need to talk to someone in charge. Something is very wrong. Mm-hmm. Uh, we hold the bird so gentle. Yeah. <laughs> Probably ends up getting roped into uh, preparations then. <laughs> Appearing like mm-hmm. that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, just figuring out a way to, to put a filter back on that echo. Yeah. Because goddamn. Yeah. 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 Which, memoir, God's bless them, isn't the only person getting that message, seeing as when Lynn had had soft times with Gibbs at one stage, she thought, oh, you you know this language with memoir? Okay, let's make the connection as well. So. Yeah. So, something Lynn, that was in Gregory, hey. Yeah. There would have been a straight up moment, which probably would have alarmed Hattie and Rye as well, of just, as well as Craigery, of Lynn in her home, everything fine and normal, and then her suddenly freezing and crashing to her knees. Yeah, that's a panic. (laughs) On the plus side, well, Something of a plus side in all the tragedies. Lynn's quite good at slowly compartmentalizing another being in her head. And so there would have been, after a considerable amount of panic, quite strangely, her being able to just suddenly stand up and bolt for the manor. No explanation, yeah, no words. No words, probably because she couldn't speak at that moment. But just there would have been a very sharp cold breeze and Lynn almost straight up just standing up like a puppet with its string, a puppet with its string pole taut and then being boosted out of the door by that tornado. So, Loving the image that inspires of just, you know, people, including Craig Ree, Cram around Lynn, like, holy shit, what is wrong? And then, and then all of a sudden, that. And she's yeah. gone. Yeah. Yeet yeah. 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 the monkey. We call the monkey. <laughs> yup, yup, yup. So Craig Ree's following that because that, that that's not normal. <laughs> and for sake of, po- I feel so sorry for Ryan Hattie, but Network. On getting silent command from Lynn will not be allowing them to follow. Craigory getting out was a feat in and of itself, <laughs> seeing, being as well. It basically, Network pulled a, I believe I called it a curtain call, of just sealing the house. Ah. He did some sick wizard flips and just barely made it out. Yeah. <laughs> Flip wizard. Flip wizard. Flip wizard time. <laughs> When, when she got to the manor, she would figure out some way of articulating, even if the first noise that one of the spooks probably hears out of her mouth sounds a bit like you've just put her through a grater. Because those, <laughs> those, those, those vocal cords... Those vocal cords do not want to work at this time. Yeah. But she will, she will articulate, because she has got sign, probably one-handed sign, and she has got pen and paper, she will have articulated that is a screaming in her head, and she thinks she recognises who it is, where the hell is Gibbs. Mm-hmm. Where's Gibbs? And Gibbs has never once screamed since it's been alive in, I- in Inkwell, so mm-hmm. <laughs> nobody knows yeah. what it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. Except for these having people. a time. <laughs> Everything just keeps on happening. Yeah. It do. Fielding disaster after disaster. 
<laughs> and I interest you in everything all the time. God. Resets that <laughs> counter yep. back to zero. Resets the counter back to zero. There we go. All right, all right. <laughs> zero hours. Last nonsense. <laughs> Literally. God. <laughs> Not even in days. Hours. Hours. <laughs> In an hour, minutes, and derogatory. I just realized, anyway. I, just realized, I realized something vaguely ironic given the amount of days, but the first word that Lynn is going to be able to get out when all said and done just is just going to be one very quiet strangled. I. And she will not clarify that. Oh, question. Uh, is Memoir there by the time she says that? Not a clue. She probably does it when a bit isolated, but I he who. Yeah. Well, because if he had heard that, he would have just looked at her and there would have been the understanding and he would have nodded. Oh, then that definitely happens. Oh, Nobody loves you and your mother is supported. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> and counters back to zero. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> it's. I, 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 I love know. how this is what our surprise guest is walking in on. <laughs> Everyone's sober and serious, and then this idiot walks up. And then, yeah, everyone is just, oh god, we're preparing for war, and then this moron walks in. Care to introduce this moron? Which, which moron? Well, this is a room full of dark faces. Dare I ask what happened? But all I can imagine Please is don't make me argue with myself. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all, I can, all I can imagine is the literal slow turn of everyone to look at him. Yeah. Everyone is very tired. <laughs> Chateau is like just mid strolling just... in with like drinks and food for everybody. <laughs> Memoir yeah. just waves and just, uh, hello, stranger. Uh, we're preparing for war. I do. Uh. It's that bad. Okay. Who will be fighting? As I assume I'm not getting out of this now. Uh, are you involved in this? Well, that entirely depends on who we're fighting. Um, we're looking for Mr. Do you know Moon. Troll? Yes, we're looking for who? Mr. Moon. Uh, Gibbs. I don't know that name. That's one of my. Uh, yes, I do know the thrall. Um, rather reluctantly, I'm a bad. I think it should be noted, uh, when Gregory found out what was going on, or at least the fact that, uh, thrall was up to some fuck shit, he would have offered to poke at his packed link and see if he could figure out what was going on. Mm-hmm. Would the others have, uh... What if... Yeah, just, if, if no one strongly objects, if, he might even say anything, he might just have done that. Yeah. <laughs> it's Craigery, of course he just did that! Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. I mean, if Slippies would have advised against it, in case the Thrall decided to reverse that particular link and get a look at what they're doing to prepare... They can't with the amulet. Uh... Reverse Uno, motherfucker. Yeah. Macabre VPN. Yeah, you can't get a lock they've on got this. The, yeah, they've got the Gregory's got the Macabre <laughs> VPN. They they can't actually like. Yeah, block. the thrall's done fuck shit before that shouldn't make sense and does. You know so, what? That's fair. <laughs> rather not risk it for the biscuit. Listen, they. <laughs> what do you want from a being that's infected you with that. deific magic? Like I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna assume so, Gregory probably yeah. does anyway. Yeah. Yeah. He basically went with like you know ask for for you and start the He's just gonna do it. So um. Mm-hmm. Hex. Yep. What would he have gone back? Well, it depends. What does he ask or say or demand? 
It's a very good question. Uh, considering this is Gregory and impulsivity, mm -hmm. audacity is the name of the game. Uh, he fell in here. Lynn was upset. He gets to the manor. Everyone is upset. Mm -hmm. He gets, uh, you know, the bare minimum of what's going on. I think just knocks and just goes, mm, what you up to? <laughs> what you doing? What you doing? <laughs> he could have been more strategic, but this is impulse. <laughs> it's just like, uh, what you up to over there? You doing, girl? Uh, all he gets back is sort of a dismissive, uh, just a dismissive, like, I'm busy. Um, doing what? <laughs> Did doing who? Phrasing, oh, Mr. Matthew. No. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I was laughing too hard. I missed that. <laughs> I said phrasing, Mr. Tanthew. <laughs> The question Sir. stands. <laughs> Sir, please. This is a Denny's. <laughs> this is appropriate for a Denny's. What are you talking about, anyway? Um, yeah. <laughs> they, uh, after a moment, yeah. just... I am... Um, it's, it's not, like, an exact kind of wording, but uh, the general gist is... Uh, they are tinkering is the exact words they use they're getting uh, enrichment <laughs> understandable have a horrible day Gregory slams close that connection <laughs> <laughs> and uh he will try to tug uh either the shocks or Sklepi's side, and relay that, because that seems important. He relays that. Hmm. Through all this tinkering. Hmm. Nothing good happens when Thrall tinkers. Yep. No. That particular phrasing plus gifts being ever. taken is not yeah. good things. No, no, no. no. Oh, anyone, any mechanical bugs. Anyone who learns that phrase immediately can get a gist if they know Gibbs and no thrall. Yup. Yup. Mm -hmm. Yup. Mm -hmm. That war room is going to be heavily used and in, and stuff added to it by every party. Lynn is not mm -hmm. leaving unless it's necessary for sleep or food. And even then. And even yeah. then, that's a, that's a uh, fight. Thankfully, it's a fight Chateau is willing to make, because she is pretty, uh... Meshy! <laughs> She's pretty meshy. Yes, exactly like that. <laughs> she is pretty, um... stubborn and, um... insistent that you eat and sleep. Oh. Thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One uh, One possible versus very, very determined people. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, you get three strikes of ignoring of, of ignoring Chateau, and then Car just throws you out the room. <laughs> there you so, go. <laughs> you learn, or you do things the hard way. Yep. <laughs> I mean, if it's worth anything, Memoir will also be trying to uh, assist Chateau in corralling the idiots. Mm -hmm. She isn't because even like. Had... Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Because, like, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, because, like, yeah, no. Uh, there's enough of my connections in pain right now. Without the rest of you fuck shit starving yourselves, go eat, go sleep. We need everyone at a hundred percent. Or as be... close to a hundred percent as possible. Lynn wouldn't be doing something stupid. She no she knows that whatever's coming, she can't just go. All right, we're gonna go stop this and immediately collapse. It's still just 
Basically, you know when someone's so determined that they're doing the minimum amount of stuff to be at their best, and that is it. Mm-hmm. That. Yeah. Extra Lynn, is... you're getting prayer hands. <laughs> She's not being self-sacrificing or stupid. She is just doing her best to be at her best because yeah. they can't afford anything less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got gotcha. you. Mm-hmm. She's learned that much. Good. It's been a bad five days. It's been a very rough five days, especially because at some point, um, in those five days, do they imagine, do, do, um, does, there we go, a search party kind of get sent out where Gibbs was to kind of like scour the area? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ava's got packs of wolves. Uh, and tigers and bears traversing the forest, oh, keeping that out. Good. So that means then that they would, in fact, find uh, a familiar ribbon uh, on the ground at some point. Uh, beans. <laughs> yeah, that gets mm-hmm. back to the matter. And yep, and that ribbon has uh, flecks of golden dust on it. Ah, oh, beans. <laughs> Ah, beans. Pick. That's less than great. Um. Hmm. Upon fighting it, Asclepius will try and use that to scry because that's that's a belonging which affects the, uh, the fucking the save. The accuracy of the spell? No, the save. Not uh, the not the accuracy. It affects the save. If, uh, if you have a possession or garment, it's a minus four on the modifier. Is um. Uh, does it's a minus nine at that point? God damn. Yeah. What the fuck is that? Anyway, does private sanctum stop that no matter what? Um. You know, I'm not sure. Let's see here. Uh. It creatures in the area can't be targeted by divination spells. You can cast oh. out. Rashi. Uh. I only say this because Thrall also has private sanctum. Okay. Well, if Gibbs is in the area, copycat. Then... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If Gibbs is in the area, it can't be tagged. So it's small okay. fails either way. Okay. All right. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. No divination at all. Okay. Yeah. Um. I. Hmm. What's question? That? Yes. Answer. Um. DM, you are fully welcome to say no to this because Echo is not a mechanic that I have statted out in mm-hmm. much degree. But Memoir would want to take a look at that ribbon and try and like read its echo signature to see if it's to see if he can figure out like okay, can we figure out anything from the last minutes this was on Gibbs's person? Uh, I will allow that because that will be some very tasty lore for you. Uh, you yeah. and what? would memoir get from Echo? Like, would it, is it just the, um, would memoir get sounds with it? Yeah, um, so when reading an Echo signature uh, on an item uh, that isn't like a book Mm -hmm. or, you know, a piece of text, um, when reading an Echo signature on an item, you essentially get transported to the perspective of the memory, no, the perspective of the person who this item belonged to okay. in the last minutes this item was held. Oh, how fun. All right. Um, oh, that's going to hurt. All yeah. right. So, Memoir, as you are checking this item, or as you're doing this, you see that you are on the outskirts of the fort, just on the edge of the forest. You can see Halloween Town right in the distance, just right on the edge of your grasp. But you can't move. You can't speak. A spell is holding you in place. And then after a couple of seconds, you feel the presence of another person 
leaning in close to your ear. And the voice sounds familiar. You recognize this voice, specifically Memoir. Um, it was the voice of someone mm-hmm. you thought was a friend. And it sounds playfully cruel when the voice says, You love them, don't you? And there is a moment where nothing happens and then the world goes dark. Save for like the momentary fluttering of gold from the mouth. Yes, there is a (laughs) cough of, there's coughing. It almost feels like you might be, you might, you're trying to die, but not quite there. And then it goes dark. Hmm. Terrifying. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he would have picked up the ribbon, got that, um, and at that last moment, especially, you know, at hearing that voice, if anyone else was in the room when he was doing this, they would have seen all of the eyes on Memoir's wings snap open immediately, just, okay, that's fear, anxiety, ah, no, bad. Mm-hmm. Oh. And then, you know, carefully untangling his fingers from this ribbon without damaging it, and then promptly proceeding to swear up a storm because I already knew the situation was fucked. I didn't need information on on how it was fucked. I need information on how to fix it, damn it. Unfortunately. No dice in that department. No dice in that department. You just keep mm-hmm. getting information on how dire it fucking is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because great. Now, not only do I know my my long one of my longest standing friends is suffering immensely, I also know that it might be fucking dying. Maybe. Well, Maybe. Well, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's Everything totally is decidedly fine. not fine. <laughs> when we get worst back, comes okay. to absolute worst. Ascubbies has several <laughs> <laughs> resurrection spells. God, I hope we don't have to Never use that. Many. I'm God, same. please. Same. <laughs> Depending on certain things, they might not work, but at the same time, I sit here, I don't want to run Fox game early. <laughs> uh, it's it's fine. Everything's <laughs> the other one. fine. Worst comes to absolute worst, divided dimension. <laughs> yes, there you go. Yeah. Because <laughs> they don't God. Oh, Thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> and we hope I get a 14 or lower. Man. <laughs> oh, oh, Christ. We are gods. My head is in my hands. I love you all so much. All right. So. I, oh, welcome God. to hell. <laughs> yep. Welcome to hell. So does, you, does, does this all get explained to Decimal, by the way? Is this all getting yeah. explained to Decimal? If, if no one We're else. using this whole uh, tangent to basically just give Decimal the deets. Yeah. Catch him this, up. Yeah, this, this is now. the flashback monologue. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This is the flashback monologue of those five days and everything therein. Everyone's having a time TM. Mm-hmm. And that's what you missed on Toonkind. <laughs> let me, let me. Oh, he just like, I should have stayed okay. away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, so he, he listens to all this, nods, and goes... You're thinking about this entirely the wrong way. How so? How do you mean? You're focusing on trying to find Gibbs. You should really be concerned about what happens when it finds you. Oh, shit. Oh, 
coaching dogs? Chateau kind of tilts her head at that. What do you mean? Well. You said the soul had been tinkering, did you not? Yeah. Doesn't I seem mm. a little bit of what the thrall is capable of? Very determinedly not looking at uh, Craigery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Craigery, who's not also not looking at anyone, is just kind of like. Mm -hmm. well, this is not nearly as much time. This is also something with a rather more freedom. And from what we can tell, it seems like they may, may be making up for a lack of time with a uh, increase in passion, shall we say. We, we've got to make sure town's safe. We've, we've got... There, there's got to be... <laughs> Asclepius has already left the room to go start making uh, defenses. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> the most reassuring thing that could have possibly happened. Uh, but there has to be some way to... There has to be some way to undo it, because this doesn't end with this story, so how... Then we deal with it when it comes to us, unfortunately. The but can't. what does deal with it we don't mean? Have the information. Whatever the plot throws at us, memoir. That's not an answer, Lynn. And I, I can't. Might, if I might make a suggestion, leave Gibbs to me. Also, I am rather well suited to keep something running in circles. This will allow you all a time to look at what's happened to it and figure out a way to reverse it, repair it, whatever needs to be done. You no offense, but you're also frankly the least emotionally involved in this situation, so... That as well. I, I wasn't going to mention that he <laughs> has been on at me for being rather tactless, but... No, no, it, it's good compartmentalization. It's... it's divide and conquer on that front. It's, it's straight up strategy. It's incredibly good, okay. Mm -hmm. when, when it comes, we'll figure out how stuff goes from there. It. We don't know what this tinkering involves. For all we know, living bomb. Terrifying thought. I, Wish I'd thought of it. <laughs> I also raise the point that my very presence here likely means it's going to be soon, if not five minutes ago. Uh, nope. Fun fact. Hey, Kara, uh, how quick can you get a fucking message? Well, Kara throws the table into the air. <laughs> <laughs> if it happens on their boundaries, if it happens on their boundaries, they know about it yeah. immediately. Yeah. So, so you know. Throws the table into the air to get everyone's attention. Yup. Powerful. Incredible. <laughs> Not high, just enough to make it like jump and thud down. Kara mm -hmm. flips the table. Kara does, in fact, <laughs> flip the table. <laughs> no, there's documents and notes on there. <laughs> Too bad. Well, no, 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 no. All planning that... goes out the window in the face of this. No, 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 listen. It's that one trick in physics, like centrifugal force bullshit. You flip the table fast enough, all of everything stays exactly in place when oh it lands. Oh my land. god. You know what? Yeah, that's that's yes. funny enough. Rule of funny applies for that. Yes. <laughs> the god. table does a sick kick flip. It does. It lands back perfectly <laughs> untouched. <laughs> I love you all. Oh my god. Absolutely incredible. What is the message that Kara is so um, It would be... Kara would recognize, probably, that uh, the thing that has entered the boundaries of town should be Gibbs. But... 
isn't. And it's violent. She can tell very easily that this thing is violent. Uh, it's not moving very quickly, all things considered, but it is moving with purpose. Hmm. And if Babel would like to add anything else that's going on there, feel free to. I, the brain, hold on. Yep, you good. I am just <laughs> offering you a chance to. I, I don't think I have words other than like, the way that it moves feels ab abnormal. Yeah. Um, Kara knows gives fairly well. It does not... It always makes a point not to dig its claws in anything. Or to scratch anything. It seems to be intentionally scratching. Yeah, that's a fair. Yeah. And whatever gait that it used to have, that, that's... That's a really bad one now. <laughs> There's a lot of things wrong with all of it. It's just bad. It's just bad all around, man. It is. It's horrifying. <laughs> Oops. Hmm. Does Kara have any means of transferring this information to the rest of us? I mean, jocks. Yeah. Yeah, the table flips I mean... uh, and jocks hisses out a curse and abyssal. Uh, and starts relaying things. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's happening now, right? Let's go. I don't have a plan. I might. Yeah, the plan is for <laughs> decimal at it. Yeah. Cara, is there anywhere we can play hide and go seek? That could work. Gibbs is naturally pretty quick and blind. I don't know whether. <laughs> I don't know whether anything that Thrall's done will impact that. Hearing's probably going to be an issue, but if we can disorientate on that front, that might be helpful. I'll when figure something out. Good. Take down, not kill. We're not dispatching. We're handling a threat, not that. Please. We're not handling a threat, we're handling a victim. At this point, they are one and the same. Exactly. Things that are hurt can be dangerous. Mm -hmm. I'm going to treat this with respect it deserves. Indeed. Just, well, that's a lot that's gonna hurt later. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> it's... It's already in a lot of pain. Don't hurt it more than you absolutely must. There's Please. a reason I suggested hide and go seek. All goes well, it won't even touch me. Hmm. Here's hoping. Have faith in us, Memwise. We're not cruel people. We're not I cruel. I know that. I, know I might not look it, but I am rather skilled. Indeed. Besides, you have bigger things to worry about. If what you're saying is true, and there's more things awaiting. Looks at Jacques. <laughs> Jacques just like sighs, stressed. I'm so sorry, Jacques. <laughs> Your life will Memoir calm down one kinda, day. <laughs> Memoir just kind of nods and holds up two fingers. You get an eyebrow raise from the redheaded fool. And more tilts his head towards Lynn and says, she knows. All right, let's get this over with before my senses get the better of me. Let's go. All right. So, Decimal has asked Kara to basically make a place for him to play hide and seek. Um, yeah. So it's dead by daylight at this point. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so the 
I guess the trick now will be one, locating this mystery intruder, and two, convincing oh. it to play, hide, to play hide and seek with a decimal. I have full faith in Decimal's ability to be annoying <laughs> and catch attention. Yeah, literally, like, Kara knows where it is, mm -hmm. so they just open a door for Decimal, basically a little bit in front of it. He steps out and goes, Hi there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, Hello there. hold on. Hang on, Bell, oh. I have a new thing. Oh, you, you're getting it? I have a thing. Oh, you do? I do. A new one? I do. I'm, I, I might have, uh, I might have done what I said I would. There you go. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck? I made it worse. What the fuck? <laughs> That's so much worse. I love it. Where is it? Where is so spoiler it. Spoiler it and uh, warn for, uh, body horror, uh, Mechanical gore, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, well, I don't know time. if you're gonna be able to look at this one. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't know if you're gonna be, be able okay. to look at this one. Well, I don't know. It should be fine because it's obviously sticking like... up. Stick it up with spoiler tags first, uh, and then we can see. Yeah. <laughs> Make a judgment call as a group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, content warning. Mechanical body horror. Yeah, there you and go. What? No, that's mechanical body and, horror. That's oh. it. Oh, that's uh, a better way to word scopo it. because of the eyes. Oh yeah, that's right, scopo. There you go. That's uh, a nine. He does pull this out. Oh no. Oh, that's oh, terrifying. No. Ooh. It looks like something out like of a FNAF fan game, and I say that affectionately. You're welcome! I was about to say, <laughs> Thank I was you. about to say, this, this is, this is when big I text text. FNAF fans. Yeah. On the plus side, it's not doing anything for me. On the other side, oh my god, kids! Yeah! Um, it's worth, it's important to note that arm that's just dangling, it's not function, it, it's not useless. It still is functioning. It's just, um... It's a little loosey goosey. It's a little As long. Something else. It's a little long. It's a little extra. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I cannot wait to see what it does. <laughs> You're very worried about it. We don't like oh. this. Yeah. How far away is Decimal from Gibbs? Like, in terms wow. of feet. Because then he would um, know one of the things that it does. Oh, yeah, that's true. Immediately. Uh, I'm gonna say Kara puts him down 60 feet away. Um... Oh! You are right in the... yeah, okay. You are right there! Good! Um, say hello to anti-magic pouring from the hole in its chest. Oh my god! Uh, I have the And I'm gonna drop the meme now, because I've been waiting for... <laughs> <laughs> oh no... It's... We had that casually mentioned anti-magic, and then, oops. <laughs> oh, this is it, bad. It, or do you feel like that? Images. Arguably then, Decibel is literally the best person he is. to pick for That's this. That's why I was so <laughs> delighted, <laughs> because I was like, he doesn't have magic! He's the smartest course of action. He is the literal, as Lynn said, ace up our sleeve. Yeah! <laughs> Man, I might pull something the... out to do to, to do a thing with, but it's not gonna work now. But I may not even be needed. <laughs> Ayo. I would love to know what this thing was, and I would love for Decimal just to try it anyway, and then go, "Oh, that doesn't work." Uh oh. He knows it doesn't work because the moment he steps out into that anti magic field, he knows what uh... anti he knows what the anti magic field feels like. No, actually. His hands start to hurt. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, fun. That's interesting. All right. I can Ooh. find the fucking thing. It's there we go. Okay. This is the meme. I meant to spoil it. Yeah. Scopo. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's not Scopo. It's fine. But yeah, that's. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god. 
I yep. remember that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why you did the sudden oh no. Yeah! That's the reason why you yeah. did yeah. <laughs> this with it. Oh my god! Yeah! yeah. Oh, At least no. now I have a reason for oh, Desla no. having disadvantage on uh, sleight of hand checks today. Mm -hmm. um. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Alright, well, he had like pulled out that. a small red scale, but that goes back up his sleeve. Uh, or into his pocket, I guess, because I'm. Can he oh, access oh. hammer space more than that's magic field? Oh, I have never established the rules for that. I'm not certain. Um. I, mean, I think so space spoon, isn't magical. You know? Yeah, it's it's, it's a anything. yeah, it's a it's, it's innate. It's to a racial achieve. trait. Yeah, that's. Yeah. I don't think it. I don't think anti magic like, would cancel it out. Yeah, it's like a biological trait. You know, if you're gonna argue that hammer space gets canceled out by anti magic, well, shit, you don't exist in before yeah, exactly. get canceled out by strong enough <laughs> anti magic. Yeah, and okay. yeah. Uh, yeah, so we get to back up the sleeve into the hammer space again. Um... <laughs> No need for no need for that right now. Mm -hmm. That's new. We really have been fucked up, haven't we? Well, no matter. Guess it gives what you're doing. <laughs> I mean, the only thing it really can do at the current moment is try to get close. Yep. I, I don't think we <laughs> want it to get closer. Well, that's that's what's, that's what's gonna let it get closer. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yes, well. <laughs> I don't he's know. Gonna, he's gonna let it get to forty-five feet or so, and then start backing up at an uh, even rate toward a door that Kara yeah, is okay. has spawned behind him. Okay. I mean, it's it's not very bright. You can already tell that there's not a single thought behind those eyes. Those eyes are empty anyways. Current. <laughs> yeah, actually if you wanted to roll a proper uh perception on Gibbs. Uh... I would love to roll a perception on Gibbs. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh god, I figured something. Oh god. <laughs> uh well that's not great, but it's not terrible either. Mm -hmm. Uh twenty-five? Oh, alright, okay. Just a can't okay, try well. this. <clears throat> Let me double check what if there were DCs for the notes. Uh, uh well, I mean no, go ahead. Can I there is one thing yeah. that you would get even without that. Yep. Um Chains and Shackles. That whole thing. Yep. Made of uh golden lining. That are around its neck, legs, or ankles and wrists. But that that is neither here nor there. That is not that important. Or maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh you would note decimal immediately with that especially with that twenty five. Um Yes, the hole in its chest. Yes is open and uh, hemorrhaging anti-magic. There is nothing in there. Clearly there once was something, now there isn't. With that 25. Okay. Um, you can also determine that it's, boop, boop, boop. Let me double check the, uh, Boop, boop, boop. Wow. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, it's also <laughs> just like a lot of the pieces on it seem to be uh, pretty much just held together by sheer force of will. Um, it, it's, it's looking rough. Uh, a lot of those pieces could potentially be dangerous for you. Uh, just as a note of like maybe letting it get really close is a bad idea. Yeah, he, he plans on keeping at least 15 feet between them at all times. Yeah, that's wise. That is wise. Um, but so for the moment, he's sticking to 45. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but at the moment, you can tell from this distance that there's a hole in its chest. Uh, that, that, it, the glass is broken. 
there is clearly a cavern in there for something, but that something's gone. So that's what you get with what you know, which is nothing of gives. <laughs> Kara, please do me a favor and relay that there is something missing from Gibbs' chest to the others for me. As I suspect that the Thrall has it. And I imagine that it would rather like to get that. Alright. Um, and he's gonna keep backing up, backing up, backing yep, up through yep, the door. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Jogging backwards as you do. At Gib, uh, as you do. Yep. Gibbs does have a movement speed of thirty feet, so it does close the distance uh, pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, they've got the sa- they've got the same movement speed, yep. so he will just keep equidistant. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> holding holding fast at forty five feet between. Understandable. At the moment. Understandable. Uh, and we'll we'll jump back to the group. Uh, while Decimal does that, and we'll describe Decimal's fun adventures of hide and seek with Gibbs in a minute, um, <laughs> so that the That's group can be so much fun. Yeah, so that the group can react to, uh, yeah, thrall. The Gibbs is missing something. Uh, I. Lynn does have a like. It it doesn't take much to figure out. Hey, something's missing in Gibbs's chest. Everyone knows. Everyone knows Gibbs's chest. Decimal doesn't. Decimal yeah. does not, but that's, you know. <laughs> Everyone in this room knows it. Mm-hmm. Gregory? Uh. Might I not. will I will say, with the line that Lynn has made. Yeah? Of just. She does, if she'd been wearing her hat, she takes it off, and there is a look of... Oh, she looks old in this moment. It is old horror of someone who has seen a great deal, and is even still shocked as she outright goes, They took its fucking heart. Hey, Gregory, how you feeling? Um, people can roll insights if they like. I'd love to roll Rolling. insights. Rolling. Love, oh, wait, <laughs> hang on. I need the other one for this one. Yeah. Uh, he's come back into the room at this yeah. point. I can do them both. Um, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> Snuggling chair to sheets. Mm-hmm. Nope, wrong chat. Oops. Uh, 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 oh, shit. You have Jesus Christ. anything for that? You do not. Okay, so yours get is... seen by your girlfriend. Um, yours get seen is... by probably everyone. Uh, also twenty-four, I think. Uh, Jesus, that's Rejax. Uh, Asclepius is probably going to be higher. Yep. Uh, yep. Yep. Oh, yep. Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> yep. Get seen, wizard boy. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. Yep. Get seen. Get fucking seen. <laughs> ah, not even close. <laughs> not close home slice. That's cute, buddy. <laughs> just, just, just for reference, Gregory got a seven on performance, and the highest insight roll was a thirty-four. Yep. The lowest, <laughs> the lowest was six. Yeah, the lowest was a 16, <laughs> so get seen. He fought absolutely red wizard boy. All right. Well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, he's gone absolutely white. And honestly looks like he's about to be sick. Then more will just helpfully and... point out there's a trash can in the corner. You know what? Actually, yeah. Partially to avoid everyone looking, because he fucking knows that everyone is seeing this. Just like in an attempt to hide, just kind of shuffles that way. Not want to talk about this. Mm-hmm. 
everyone is going to therapy after this. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, hmm. If anyone wants to do double insight rolls, I mm -hmm. also have something to share as a reaction to that. But honestly, I would think that we would yeah. use the same, and memoir just rolls performance. Yeah. So it would just be yeah. Craig oh, yeah, rolling fair. insight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What is your performance? I don't think Craig is in a state to roll insight. We're keeping that seven overall. That's fair. That's fair. Gregory has the look of someone who's internal methodology, just like, God, they actually did it yep. this time. Yep. Oh, God, it's Gregory. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, no memoir, you are seen. By... Uh -oh. uh, wow. Uh... Yeah. All of them. Yeah, actually, yeah. everybody. Twenty is good, but we, it's literally no one. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, no. He he gets he does a good job of like keeping composure in general, mm -hmm. but still gets seen because anger. <laughs> oh. Like. Memoir this entire time has been stressed, has been nervous, has been worried for his friend. Hearing Lynn say that specifically, uh, and having context because of who's in his head today. Mm-hmm. Anger. Wait. Really, really bright, hot anger. Oh, uh, shit. And he's so. Let's see, how many people in this room speak Echo? Is it just Lynn? No, it's Gregory as uh, well. Gregory. Gregory as well. Yeah, just, it's just those two. Yeah. Um, Lynn, you have never heard Memoir swear in rage in Echo. You've heard him swear affectionately. You helped him come up with some of those swears. <laughs> But what are usually sparks and lightning and firecrackers in sort of a playful aggression way are a wildfire and a hurricane. And basically the translation is, oh, that fucking bastard. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hey, 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 Whirl, uh, can I get Memoir to do? an arcana check for me, uh, with advantage considering the context between Gibbs and Memoir, and who Memoir is today. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ah, that's important, you are correct. Alright, so we got a 22 for the first one, and we'll go with the 22, because these are my two arcana checks. Oof, yeah, nice. Yeah, we will glad they take that 22. <laughs> um, you get this early. I was going to save it for later. <laughs> However, because of shit, <laughs> mm -hmm. and also who you are today, I cannot hey, believe that memoir, it's that heart isn't just its heart. That's all of it for the most part. That's its consciousness, its its very soul. Yeah. Oh god, yeah. Um that, that is like I said is it. fucking rage. Uh that is getting a snarl once he realizes that just very, very angry crow of just Oh, we need to get that back, and we need to get that back now. They should not fucking have that. Mm-hmm. We need to keep the body safe and not harming anyone else, and we need to get that back. We need to get it back. Find it. We're also the type of person that will have it on them, on their person. Then we go and kick their ass. Mm -hmm. Uh, memoir, then, I think, with that arcana, also would know there is a range. 
mm-hmm. that you have to be in with the heart. And what exactly would that range be? Battle. Battle I, the I'm line. very confused. I'm confused on the range. You had mentioned there was oh, a range right. that they had to be in for this shit to work. Oh, right. I don't remember what it was. To put it in a generalized uh, number, or, well, area, um, they have to be... They have to be close by, quote unquote. Yeah. They are not in town, but they're close. I think Memoir will relay that, just, it has a range. If they go outside of that barrier, it wouldn't work, which means that they can't have gone far. We know they're not in town. We know, hmm. It would have been where they unleashed we need, from. We need to ask, hmm. I, okay, question. Mm-hmm. Would trying to communicate with Kara through Echo be any use? Um. I, I mean, on one hand, Kara is sentient enough for Echo. On the other hand, can you target an entire town? <laughs> I mean, Memoir has spoken to Network through Echo before. That is something that Be Wild and I have established. Mm-hmm. It's um, yeah. It is very chaotic in... It's basically an entirely different kind of sense system interacting with Memoir, but yes, it, it does work. Yeah, mm-hmm. but on the one hand, Network is very, very small. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel I like... Contained. You, yeah. It's one of the... I feel like if you were to try, um, it would be like trying to, you know, detect magic on a god, Gregory. <laughs> I don't know uh, what yeah. you're talking about. Have a, you whistle, know whistle. What? Yeah, maybe like I a con thing. I would reckless enough to try that. It would be... Um, yeah. Hell yeah, reckless squad. Let's go, right. reckless. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> roll, roll a con save. Roll. Huh? Roll, roll a con save, see if you can physically withstand this. And understand the input you're getting. Oh, yeah. I don't think I don't think Memoir will be able to understand it. This is just going to be to not be like bowled over by Kara. <laughs> I I cannot understate Kara is fucking massive. Yeah. I got a seventeen. I don't. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, you're you're not bodied by it, but there is so much. There is so much. Yeah. Going on. Like, he sets a hand on the wall and tries to, like, get the question across, but it's like trying to talk to the ocean. Yup. Yep. When you're already 70 feet under. Yup. <laughs> Shocks himself does wince and go, do you have a question to ask? Just ask it and Kara can answer through me. I'm trying to figure out how to word it. Fucking common is not my first language. Speaking to me, I... not speaking to them. Okay. Eh. He will like nod at that and think for a minute. Um, and we're going to do out loud echo, which is a little different. Um, God, but Jacques hasn't been spoken to in echo before, so roll whiz. Okay, okay. Uh, flat whiz or a save or whiz save. Uh, just to make sure you don't get a headache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's a 17. 17 is fine, yeah. You don't get a headache. Um, as memoir kind of... Hmm, how do I put this? To those who actually know memoir, it doesn't feel entirely like the familiar voice that you're used to talking, which is a fun little thing. Uh, Because memoir is not the only one in his head right now. Mm -hmm. But (laughs) this dialect is rougher. It's more, it's rougher. It's 
a little less, you know, jumpy and bouncy than Memoir's tone is. And basically, he's trying to ask Kara just... Where were they when the message was sent? What direction did Gibbs come from? Did you see them before they left? But he's having trouble with words right now for reasons he can't articulate. I <laughs> wink at Babel. Mm-hmm. I also wink back at you. Okay. Um. In in that case, then. Um. As as Jacques parses all this and passes it along, basically he uses it as a conduit. Um. There's a there's a pause. And then a little girl pops out the wall and starts rapid fire answering those questions. <laughs> Tiny Kara! We love Kara. Tiny Kara! Tiny Kara. <laughs> God. Yeah, everyone, everyone is getting live updates on all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Kara's basically a fucking weatherman for Git, for where is Gibbs? Yeah. Hurricane Gibbs. Yeah! <laughs> Hurricane Gibbs, Diego. This fucking fucks. <laughs> Hurricane Gibbs has live weather updates. <laughs> <laughs> God. Um, all right, if that's the case, uh, then you would get, uh, a specific spot, um, I'm trying to think if it would be, yeah, actually, you know what, for fun, we'll say it is, uh, Jacques and Esclepius also recall this spot, because it's the same, uh, it's the same one where just a bunch of random shit kind of got dropped on their doorstep along with a doll. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and it's, uh, Lynn would also recognize it. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think Gregory would just because he wouldn't be as familiar with Halloween Town yet. Um, but definitely yep. Jacques and Jacques and Lynn recognize uh the location that Kara is giving. And oh shit. <laughs> it's uh for those who are unaware, it is in fact an entrance one of the entrance tunnels into the uncanny valley. Uh well that's a problem because that gives them a fucking escape route. <laughs> Not if they want to keep close enough to keep uh, Gib going. I don't think that they are in, that they they entirely care about that. Not when it comes to saving their own. What, not when it would come to a choice between in Gibbs and saving their own skin. If they keep hey, going, no, they uh, hate which case. this town a lot. If they keep the heart, they can do it again another time. They need not to cut. Necessarily. <laughs> yeah. Um. If separated from his heart, if separated from its heart too long, it gives. Go ahead. Uh, it, 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 he just said, if separated from its heart too long, gives dies. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> Logical conclusion. You know, like any living creature. <laughs> yes, although the time for this one is slightly longer. We don't know how mm -hmm. long it's been without its heart. So we need to get it back as soon as we can. If the if this maps to the and he kind of waves his hand and you know another burst of echo and it just howling winds screaming basically the translation for pain mm -hmm. the other day then that if that was it getting its heart removed. We don't have a lot of time. It 
Jark sort of slappy as share a look. Uh. Before Asclepius leaves the room, comes back a moment later with a breastplate and a shield. <laughs> is it a breastplate? Do you have? Oh, oh, oh. Sun and leather armor, not a breastplate. Not, not a breastplate. Sun and leather armor. Sun and leather armor and shield. Oh god, the furbog is uh, gearing up. Oh shit. Oh damn. <laughs> the cleric is ready for war. Oh shit. Waiting. All right, time's of the essence, I guess. We're probably not going to be able to sneak up on them. It's them at the same time. I... We might not be able to sneak up, but if we strike fast enough, we might still be able to get the element of surprise. Indeed. Here's strike fast, and I can probably distract them. Okay. No one falls today, all right? We're all coming home. I don't... Not... Not, like... I don't even have to be close. Here's... I... I, I don't think they like Echo. I think I can distract they them don't. from afar just like that. See? Exactly. Alright. <laughs> so... so Alright. I hit them with that. You guys strike. Uh, Memoir just has a look in his eye just like, Oh, I have an idea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's go for what can of worms has Gregory opened? Oh boy, <laughs> I cannot wait to find out. <laughs> All right. Well, y'all are starting. You reminded an angry bird that he has a tool. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> We love to see it. So while y'all are uh, making your way over towards presumably where the thrall is. Mm -hmm. Decimal! How's hide and seek? Are you having fun? Hide and seek with Decimal! Hide and seek, buddy! Let's have some fun! It's been so long since he's heard the sound of his own footsteps that it startled him at first, but <laughs> he's gotten used to it again. <laughs> oh, that's right. He's, he's got, got those the, things. Yeah. He's got yeah. boots of elving line. Yeah, 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 yeah. I forget. What is its initiative for that? Oh, we're. <laughs> yeah. Are we passive perception? Or are we actually rolling initiative? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'll be right back. Okay. Aww. Given that it's just the two of you, you don't really need to roll initiative. Um,. But its initiative modifier is plus four. Oh, oh they match. <laughs> nice. Uh, heads or tails? Ha. <laughs> ha. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's like, I, yep. I realized one, why one, that was funny at the now. <laughs> uh, one for Gibbs, two for Asimov, I don't know. Yep. If we're, if we're rolling a d2, or we can just roll initiative regularly. Just if you want. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, screw it. I, I, please, cooperate with me. I beg you. Perfectly you. average, as all things should be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and gives a shitty luck continues. <laughs> Alright. I should be like that sometimes. Okay. Well... <laughs> Uh, he's going to take a little bit of time to just pause out exactly how much sensory input this thing is getting. Cause Lynn mentioned blindness and deafness, so... Mm -hmm. If he can figure out how it's sensing him, then he can figure out how to evade and guide it in turns. Okay. Um... I'm gonna tell you right now, it can clearly see him. Perfect. Okay. The eyes seem large and unfocused, but uh, that that head's tracking you, Decimal. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So he will he will keep a fair distance ahead of it. Um. 
Katara has created a maze um, to, to keep them busy in. Literally dead by daylight style. <laughs> <laughs> Except it's all underground. Um, mm -hmm. How's the lighting in there? Is Kara keeping it pretty well lit or keeping it dim? Uh, it's dim light, specifically so Decimo can hide if needed. Cool, alright. But he can still see. <laughs> Good, alright. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you've got you've got the thing up, Babel. You've... <laughs> I do. So, I do, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> alright, alright. <laughs> I mean, now that it's not in complete light, though, you can see that its eyes are red. Oh god. Mm -hmm. You stole my shtick. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> let me do <laughs> <laughs> um, The red is also in its body in a weird way. Mm -hmm. In its body in a weird way. Yeah. Kind of like power cords, almost. Interesting. Okay. All right. He he he's gonna he's gonna make a note of that. He's going to start guiding it through the maze. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> How is he trying? Do anything to keep it? Keep its attention? Uh, he's sticking close enough to it that it can- it can see where he's going. Um, and he's- he's like, talking to it, basically. <laughs> yeah, oh, Fox, you're Fox, a little bit Fox. fucked up. <laughs> you're a little bit fucked up, aren't you? Oh, you have a long arm you've got there. Can't imagine that's much pain on this. <laughs> oh, I was curious, I've never seen so many wires before. I was under the assumption you were a tune. Apparently you're not. That's be interesting. Uh, What's going on with your eyes then? Is that some kind of searchlight shenanigans? Maybe heat sensing or motion detecting? You seem to be tracking my movements, but I can't tell how well you can see. <laughs> Shit like that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, go ahead. Casual commentary. Yeah, literally. Casual commentary. <laughs> How... I'm gonna see how annoying Gibbs is. Yeah. Casual danger dialogue. How close is Decimal willing to... Oh, wow. That's a nat 20. Okay. Interesting. Not very annoyed at all. Uh, um... That can change. <laughs> that can change. <laughs> it's Decimal. It's, of course it's gonna change. Yep. If there's one thing you can do well, it's piss people <laughs> <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, distance-wise, I think in the maze he'll reduce it to 40-35 feet, kind of oscillate between that. Okay. Um, little bit closer when it comes to corners, but not by much. Um... <laughs> I think you can tell that that's not getting much of a response, so he's gonna switch tactics and start kneeling the thrall. Okay. To his face. <laughs> talk shit. Just talk shit about the thrall to its yeah. face. <laughs> you know, now that I've had a chance to look at you a bit closer, this is some pretty fucking shoddy workmanship. I mean, honestly, you're a fucking mess. What were they thinking letting you out like this? I've seen bad workmanship on... Fuck, on <laughs> an, orphan's, an orphan's first carving job. This is, this is... Oh, so, well, that got a reaction. Oh, shit! I got it! Hey. I got it. I think what got the reaction is when he said Orphan's carving job, because, uh, those are some ouch points. Mm -hmm. Oh, perfect. And then it... <laughs> oh, good, I pissed it off, and then it lunges at there you. <laughs> yeah! Congratulations! Yeah! It's now running at you. <laughs> cool. He's gonna start running as well. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh god. God. Incredible. Uh... <laughs> Angry motherfucker. Oh! I, I, 
Yeah, okay. Alright, so I don't I continue. Know if bonus action, I don't know if his bonus action dash is just yet. Um, unless this thing gets suddenly markedly faster, in which case he probably will. Mm -hmm. um, but he will, if he does bonus action dash, he uh, will be using his cane more, and I'll need to start making rolls. <laughs> yeah! Alright, alright. Does, does he need to start bonus action dashing or not? <laughs> What's Gibbs I doing? Uh, hmm. Let me see. I don't if you see where you... If you can't see anything, or if you can't think of anything, I can always have some orders issued. I can think of one thing that it wants to do, okay. but um, I don't see the thing where the... The one that you just now sent me. The, the, the first it's one, under I know. Skills. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I want to look at this. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Tasty. Um, so this thing stops, or more so slows down, and um, it goes up to one of the walls, and it starts clawing up them. Oh, shit. And the way that it's creaking is unnatural. Yep. It's, it is it not can, supposed to bend that way. And it can still move at speed doing that. I mean, there's not a whole lot of point to it. This is a tunnel, but... Yeah. <laughs> it's like a ten-foot tunnel. It's, uh, but, pure unless visual it's, Unless it's trying to go for pure horror points by fucking, uh, uh... Train. Face hunger crawling across the ceiling. Well, my guess is that there's more darkness up there, right? Because of the guess. lights? The whole the whole place is kind of just dim light. Mm -hmm. Okay. The power of Kara. Yeah, just a consistent kind of. You know when you go into the Nether in vanilla, and it's just like a constant light level. It's kind of like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. However, we do get the creepy so, skitter skitter. In that case, Babel, if I may make a suggestion. Babel. Yeah. Okay. Um, it, instead of, uh, just going up the wall, basically Decimal is running and then he doesn't hear its footsteps after him. Uh, mm -hmm. and so Gibbs can now roll, 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 roll me a stealth, Gibbs. See how well. I mean, the moment he stops and hearing footsteps, he's gonna fucking pivot. Yep. That's what I was that going was to have it do. I just wanted to. Can I yeah. just ask, what's its stealth modifier? Well, <laughs> yeah. About to find out. We're about to find out if that's enough with decimals, uh. With decimals yeah. perception specifically. Because, fun fact. No! Uh -huh. Oh, you need a nat 20. Man. Oh, shit. Really? Well, Jesus yes. Christ. Rest in pieces. We'd rather no one rest in pieces today, except maybe Thrall. <laughs> um, let me check one other thing. Yeah, okay, okay, cool. Sorry, I'm just reading through this little thing, just all good. reading through my notes just to make sure everything is good. Okay, um, yeah, okay. Uh, you notice it's, one, not where it was, but two, uh, if you backtrack, it is, in fact, trying to, well, surprise you. So it's not smart. <laughs> I I think he I think he, he backtracks just enough to be with within with the within the forty within the forty five feet. Uh, and just goes, uh, are you going to sit there all day or are we going to get back to the running thing? <laughs> and it can't just pounce on him. <laughs> I wish it could. I mean technically it could, but I mean, it can try. It can try. I don't know if it, I don't know if it can pounce. You created a monster feet, with but... your decimal at it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Hi, hello. This is honestly part of the course. <laughs> Bro, I'm gonna do something fucked up. Decimal shows up. No, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> you're you're gonna look like an idiot. Because look how many do it. I have. <laughs> Alright. I, I mean, I don't... Can it even reach that far to do so? Um... He 
Pinky. <sighs> Baby, please. Go that way. Thank you. Okay. Um, it can technically... Let me reread what the fuck charge does really quick, because I don't have... Uh, typically, if you move forward a certain f certain number of feet, you can make an attack and try to knock someone over. That's, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Um, and I think that works while dashing is the, uh, that was the thing I had to double check was because Gibbs would have to uh, dash to get, uh, uh, what's something that has charge? Uh, I think Mammoth does. Um, when you use your action to d oh yes okay uh okay yeah uh, oh is it literally the charger feet yes not quite but yes that's then yeah if if he's using if it's using dash action then it can bonus action to try and yeah. jumpy jump yeah 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 um, and if it's moving in a straight line, which it might not be, because I think Decibel turned a corner, yeah, uh, it, it can turn, it gets a bonus this save. <laughs> yeah. Turning a corner would ruin it, but the uh, straight line, it would. Th that's the big thing, is just, can it catch him and do this? I think the answer is no. <laughs> no, but it can Decimal. try. Decimal. It can try. It can't try again. The result will probably be horrific. <laughs> it's This box is not supposed to bend that way. It's not supposed to, and Ugh. its legs are extending unnaturally, and its claws, which already have, like, extended through its skin, are, uh... Yeah, they're, they're gouging, like, deep lines into the floor as it's trying to catch you. I'm gonna say kind of rule of funny, also rule of horror. Uh huh. Um, when it does try to jump, it it misses very clearly, but the way that it ragdolls is terrifying. <laughs> and the way that it like... <laughs> oh my god! It just, like a dead spider. It just, it's it's disgusting. It just it's weird. Dark Souls ragdolls. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not like it hit him, so... <laughs> You're welcome. You're oh, welcome. Well, well, Decimal casually dodges this and then goes, Miss me, miss me, Raleigh didn't kiss me, and keeps running. <laughs> <laughs> Decimal, our beloved. I love Decimal so Decimal, much. Decimal, you absolute disaster. Never change. <laughs> God. I mean, if he changes, you know something's fucking horribly wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Decimal is still running. He's having a time. He's keeping Gibbs busy. Hey, everybody else. If anything, this is almost decimal enrichment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. It's supposed to be the mouse in this cat and mouse situation. It kind of goes against his design, but... It's fine. <laughs> Hey, not entirely. I mean, foxes eat cats. Yeah, it's cat v fox instead of fox, uh, cat v mouse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just need Gibbs to chase it up a tree. Yeah! <laughs> Unfortunately, we're not gonna get a tree down here. Damn it! <laughs> no, no, Jesus <laughs> Christ! No, no tree down here. Damn. <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> Given decimal enrichment, it's exactly. <laughs> anyway. Um, Sliding back from that comedy show. God. Yeah. The levity in our horror, sh the comedy side of our horror comedy coin. Uh, now back to more <laughs> horror. Uh, hey, everybody. You're making your way towards. Uh, Making a way downtown, walking <laughs> fast. Oh God, walking faster. Um, All right. literally downtown. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. Uh, so you guys are heading that direction. Is Kara fast tracking y'all? Uh, Kara would fast track. Okay, cool. So y'all are 
pretty much immediately deposited. Come back, my notes. I need you. Um, you all, y'all are pretty immediately deposited, like right at the entrance uh, of this familiar to Asclepius, at least, tunnel. Um, and I mean, the immediate area around yeah. is there's no one visibly there. Uh, if you would like to roll, I think it would be survival in this case. Yeah, survival. Uh, just to see if there's anything in the immediate uh, surroundings, or uh, or per, or perception, survival or perception. Uh, oh, perception, you say? Yeah. Fantastic. You are gonna get different things based on which one you do. So. In that case, I'll roll survival because God knows no one else in this party can. <laughs> yeah, no. It's the exact same either way. Fair. You know, but I'm also gonna guide it to myself because I I'll can do that, that now. Yeah. Oh shit! We take this. Nice, nice, nice. What did you get? What did you get? Nope, that shocks. That's entirely the wrong sheet. Night. <laughs> Ooh, nice, okay. Almost a net 20. Hell oh, yeah. what the fuck? Right. Well, let's go two for two. Yo! Gregory! Hell yeah, gamer. <laughs> Were you rolling survival <laughs> or perception? Uh, I'm... Um... They're the same either way, but in my mind, I was doing survival, so... Okay, um... cool. Excellent. If, if... Oh, hey, we got the same! <laughs> nice! <laughs> hey -o. And then Lynn. Can we change the... Oh, incredible. What can I say? I like, I like our ace. Incredible. Yes. We're going two for two. Have we got memoir and lean on perception? Decimal appreciation club. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got. Hey, I got. I gotta love our ace. <coughs> leave his the wonderful acerbic bastard. Okay, but we got. Yes, no, no. We got Craigery and Asclepius on survival, and memoir and Lynn on perception. Yep. Alrighty. So, Lynn memoir. You the area immediately around is uh as it as it should be basically um there are no visible signs of like basically a base of operations that have been set up um the entrance to the valley is just as unassuming as you would expect it to be um deeper in you can hear a you can hear the the heavy breathing of something very large. Oh, we don't want to go that way. Uh. Mm. The problem is you also, uh, especially Lynn, you both catch it, but Lynn especially with that 20, fucking 29. Uh, Jesus, Lynn. Yeah, as you kind of look into the entrance to the valley, you notice a glow further back in. It's extremely faint, and it's not constant. It's, uh, and it's... Would it happen to flicker like a heartbeat? Does it, Babel? Like a dangerously slow one. And it's not, Ooh. it's not yellow. Mm. If I recall correctly, from what I've been told, it's red. Mm. Like that's true. Gregory and Asclepius, you clearly can see, especially you, Gregory, because Nat 20, Jesus, uh, you, you've lived in the woods, you know this. You know how to track these things. You can clearly see the tracks uh, from Gibbs stepping out and making its way into the town. You can see clearly the footprints of the Thrall uh, making their way out and then moving kind of back in. You also notice larger footprints with it. They are wolf in nature. They are very, they are very canine in nature. Um, lupine in nature. 
uh, and they, those two tracks sort of make a perimeter around the, uh, valley, or the entrance, like, almost, uh, almost like they're checking, or maybe making a perimeter, and then they re-enter the tunnels and go further back in, and as you are kind of following, especially these wolf tracks, you notice there are marks along the wall where what might be claws, maybe, have, like, just kind of casually run along or, uh, maybe something has scraped along just because it's so massive. And that is what y'all get. So you are very easily able to conclude, uh, it ain't just thrall there. Right. Yeah. Uh, they've got, they've got the pet with them. The, the pet? What is the pet? Uh, Gregory, like, holds his arms out like he can illustrate how big this thing is. <laughs> uh, his wingspan very obviously is not the actual one. <laughs> uh -huh. Like, you know, for the idea of it, just big, huge shadow wolf? Mm-hmm. Can be... Uh... Wait. It's one wolf. It might be able to become more? I've never been clear on that. Is it some kind of monstrosity? Undead? Construct? Uh, uh, it's an aberration. But I don't know if Gregory would know that. Could Gregory roll something to see if he knows for sure, sure. or if he has a solid guess? Sure. <clears throat> so that could be Arcana. Could be Arcana, Arcana go. Mm -hmm. Arcana. If all else fails, you can always ask your sugar daddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Twenty-five. No. <laughs> no, he doesn't need to he ask. He doesn't need to ask. <laughs> Big wolf aberration, uh, pointy teeth. Many hands. Mm. Yeah. The many hands is important because it's got more than four. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. Oh, well, anti life shell's not going to help them. I forgot that's a grave cleric spell. <laughs> mm. So he just has that. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Love that. Oh, boy. Memoir's wings kind of twitch, and he says, "We shouldn't fight it in there. The Uncanny Valley is unpredictable. If we, it, yeah. he gets a he gets a little annoyed because words hard, and then frowns and said, close quarters, big enemy, bad.' Yeah. Totally. Problem being, uh, that's probably entirely the point. How do we?" lure one or both of them out. I mean, it's doing, it's doing patrols, anything... right? Wait. Hey, hey. Mm -hmm. Hey, Hex. Yes? <laughs> I remembered I have a packed thing. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, I, I would, uh, I would like to use my Pact of the Times to roll a history check and ask three questions. Sure. <gasps> There's my history. There it is. There we go. Oh, hey, that's not bad. Let's see. Let's see. No, I'm not trying to get the overview of the channel. Let's fuck off. <laughs> Okay. Okay. That's All right. the accuracy okay. that I get with my questions. Alright, okay, alright. Ask your questions. So, Memoir pulls his pocket watch out of his pocket and thinks for a minute to try and get the words in order in his head mm -hmm. and then asks out loud, Do you 
any of us have something they would want? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God. Um... Yes, but not... How to word, how to word. Because uh, it's yes, but is the best kind of like way I can give you that answer. Uh, word hard. Um, Thrall would want a couple of things. Uh, well, a couple of people. Uh, and not allowed. It. Yeah. <laughs> But they also are aware that it would not be, uh... It's not gonna be that simple, if it makes that- if that makes sense. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, Memoir's not really thinking of what can we give them to get them to leave us alone. It's what can we bait them with? Oh, I'm well aware. Like, I'm aware that was the question. Uh, and that's why I'm saying yes, but... Mm. Mm hmm Okay. Hmm. He kind of but pauses. The He's answer like, okay. is yes, you do. But it's, uh, there's one specific thing, and, uh, Kraken knows what that is. Um. Hmm. As, a uh, memoir asked that out loud, right? Yeah. Hmm. So yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, answer is yes, but. The answer is yes, but. Uh, and it's not going to be that simple. The, it's not that simple, and it may be too risky. Right. Okay. That's not a pursuable avenue. Um, and he kind of thinks again, again, trying to get words in order. Very frustrated because. It is usually not this hard. Mm -hmm. um, Poor baby, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of clicks his tongue uh, and... Is there anything we can do to make them angry? Uh, and that is an actual in-character voice shift. There <laughs> is a couple of things. Um... I mean, quite frankly, they have the two people that make them the angry. You have the two people that make them angriest right there with you. Hmm. Okay. And memoir very clearly is given uh, Lynn and Asclepius as names um, for that. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Okay. What can be done about the aberration? Ooh. That... Sorry, my dad was doing goofy bullshit in the hallway. No, you good, you good. That is... an interesting one. Because... the aberration cannot just be reduced to zero and taken out. It's much, this is me trying to figure out the best way to kind of describe it. And I'm just going to be drawing a parallel here of what I know, which is much like a vampire has the ability to turn into a mist and escape to its coffin to heal. You need to find a way to stop the aberration from splitting. Mm. Angle strings to electric boogaloo. <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> them were kind of not listening to them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
and we're kind of nods listening to all this and uh he's not exactly like sharing this information out loud but also at the same time it does manifest visually uh as sort of highlights and illusions like for example you have the two people that make them angriest mm -hmm. there would have been a momentary golden highlight around Lynn and Asclepius okay and so if that's the case then do we have something that they want Gregory would light up yeah mm -hmm. but there probably would have also been like, you know that triangle with an exclamation point in the middle hazard sign? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, that popped up, and that's why Memoir was like, okay, that's not that's not a pursuit of a lavender. Um, because Memoir is a retrospect warlock, or, well, technically, a memory lane warlock. Mm -hmm. And... Memory Lane is devoted to finding the most viable timeline. Yeah. So something that would get someone dead is arguably not the best decision. Oh, it wouldn't make dead, but you know, it just wouldn't be make good. Them dead. There are things worse than death. Yeah, exactly. We have what seen that death is even worse. Yeah. Retro doesn't want a new warlock. Understandable. She already has, like, three. She's got so many Warlocks retro. <laughs> she only Busy has waiting. several. She doesn't need Gregory. God. Um, like, Batman adopts orphans. We ain't going there today. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, no. Mm. All yeah. right, so... Memoir will click the pocket watch shut. Uh, shove it back in his pocket, pull out his umbrella again, and say, All right, so what I could get from that was that, uh, you two, and he will spin and point the umbrella at Lynn and then Asclepius, are really, really fucking good at picking up, at pissing all, off the picnic in there. I had noticed that, yes. <laughs> so we can get them to know you're here that might piss them off to come up out and look for revenge but we got to keep a careful eye on on their little uh, friend there uh what'd you call it gregory the uh, the pet that thing yeah, yeah we need to keep an eye on that because if it splits we're in trouble i might have an idea for something that can draw that thing's attention but it's not a spell I've ever cast before, and it will take me some time. Oh, ho I think I can distract it. No. Um, basically... <laughs> I, I just looked at what spells Scuffies has prepared. He's uh -huh. got Planar Ally. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Meshi is the player. Meshi just starts attacking my hair because he's a piece of shit. <laughs> Meshi, the planar ally. Giant Meshi. Gilgamesh Gilgamesh the kitten comes in and eats the pet. And just like eats a spider. The fucking pet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, but it, it it is a ten minute cast, is the thing. Okay. And then we've gotta like actually ask it for help. Okay. Do we have time for that? You don't know. That's the thing. How long how long have we been stood out here in front of the entrance of the valley in plain fucking I... sight of ever? Yeah. <laughs> are are we in plain fucking sight or are we like I would outside? imagine we're like, you know, doing the thing where we're like, you know, in hiding, peering out at this. <laughs> Peeking around like the opening. Like deer cats peering in. We are not stupid like Legitimately, we've got Asclepius. We're not stupid. To a hole. He's not stupid. <laughs> you say yeah. that and Asclepius is like the only one just standing in the opening of the fucking entrance. He's got more sense than that. Okay. Memoir's lowest status is charisma, not intelligence. 
straight up, Lynn outright would have made sure no one was out in the open. It's like okay. from... Like, if they're looking in on a clearing, probably within the foliage. Like, mm. and if the others have got survival, we're probably, you know, I can't remember the right phrase. Down, downwind, that's the phrase. Mm -hmm. Downwind Ooh. of the entrance. Mm. Ascapius nice. has murmured yeah. a, a quick ask for the foliage around them to keep them hidden. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Memoir is just perched in a tree, hiding in the shadows of the branches. Uh, nice. Bird. <laughs> bird. Bird, bird, bird. Hey, bird. both of you. Alright. <laughs> They're being stupid. Um, hmm. How many times a day can I do this? Asclepius, I think you should do it. This is looking at Lynn and Gregory, see if they have any objections. Mm -hmm. I mean, time's a wasting. We have this period of time where nothing is happening. Yeah. If it's see any comfort, can I can get. check the viability of the action. <laughs> Escape will gesture for Memoir to go ahead and do that. All right, rolling history again. This time we are reading forward in time. I love that I can do this three oh times my. a day. I will say as a random note, while Lynn, oh, fuck has, yeah. while Lynn has been talking to you guys and listening, like you've seen her ear twitch towards each of you and she has done side glances, she has not looked away from all of this. She has not looked away from that cave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Lynn likely is hearing some things inside. Jeez. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. <clears throat> this is what we're doing. All right, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Um. So which question did you ask? Um, basically, he is doing the first bit, checking the viability of the plan that they have. Okay. Um, this one's not out loud. This is an echo question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, so... The... Hmm. It could work but it's this is the thrall who is equally uh not known for recklessness yes they'll sometimes do impulsive things like take a bird to be their archive um but they generally aren't going to barge into what they are sure will be a fight um So while you could potentially lure them out, uh, if you, okay, hang on, let me reword that. If you try to lure them out for a fight, that will not work. Specifically for a fight is important there. Hmm. Maybe you could do hmm. something else. Backstabbing. I would he kind of squints and tilts his head. And then, you know, from up in the tree, he'll look down at Asclepius and kind of uh, shift a bit One on second. the branch. And Leave him alone. Get out. <laughs> out. Hex deals with cats. Wow, we got our planar ally early. <laughs> um. Sorry, that was, actual, is just that, good. that was an actual fight. Sorry about that. Oh, oh. Yeah, Inky was being yeah. exceptionally mean. Okay, anyway. Continue. Sorry. Uh, yeah, no worries. Uh, Memoir will like kind of scoot along the branch to sort of be more within Asclepius's earshot and then tilt his head and ask, How good are you at flying? <laughs> or why? <laughs> 
I have dipped my toe into the world of deceit. It did not end well for me. <laughs> Fair enough. Um. Hmm. And then he kind of blinks and realizes, okay, I might have a plan. Mm-hmm. Just they knew. Mm -hmm. Just they knew. I thought Thrall was a friend. I'm not terrible at lying. I'm not the best at it. But I'm not terrible either, and it's not hard to draw on a mindset I once had. I could go in and act as though I am trying to talk to them as a friend and see if I can lure them out here for diplomatic and he waves his hand because he forgot the word for shenaniganery <laughs> <laughs> I can keep them talking long enough that should give you enough time to cast the uh, Majahuzi what's it that you're planning because they're not going to be lured out here by a fight. But if they think they're going into it to make a deal, they might be more confident. There you go. I'm saying, don't go in there. Stand at the mouth, if anything. Draw them into the light. That was the goal. And what are you planning to offer as the deal? He kind of thinks for a minute and says, Well, I haven't quite thought of that yet, but my job requires me to improvise, and don't worry, you're not on the table. I don't Keep a light think, cargo. I don't think deception is the way to go. They're not going to come out for a fight. I know that I, much. I'm not suggesting a fight, either. They're insightful. They'll see through deception quite easily. The thrall mm -hmm. called Jocks and I out. I think it's time we opened up a dialogue. <laughs> Do you want me to genuinely offer that? Well, I was thinking I'd go out and ask about myself. No offense, they really hate you. <laughs> True. But I have spells that can mitigate an immediate hostile response. Translation, he has sanctuary prepared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is that would take out. I mean, can you double cast if whatever you were planning against yeah, that the pit takes out the I'm planar thinking, ally? I'm thinking if I can distract the thrall, the thrall won't be able to issue commands to this pet outside of any commands that have already been issued. We don't I, know what kinds of commands have already been issued. I can see that point. However. I can then enhance ability the three of you, and you can sneak by, grab the heart, sneak back out again. Mm -hmm. And then we cut and run. If need be. I'm not convinced Thrall may have it on them. We can see it. The light is there, there, at least we can see the, the light of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. It's true. Okay. Never mind. It's all good. Mm -hmm. Memoir is thinking at this from an Ace Attorney character angle and is just, hey, what he's giving me is, okay, I get where you're going with this, mm -hmm. but also, I don't think they'd be willing to talk to you. Yeah. And I think to kind of get that across, he will, like, press his fingers to his temples and then basically make the prayer hands gesture at Asclepius and out loud echo transfer the basically emotions slash impressions that he got of Thrall's opinion of Asclepius <laughs> when he asked if we have something that will make Thrall angry. Asclepius will gesture at Memoir's pocket watch and go, ask. Work. 
All right. Let's I will see. say long term, this is probably better than what I would have to put on the table. <laughs> you're not. You're not putting anything of yourself on the table. It's not. All right. Fifteen. Okay. Uh, we're going to be doing the second version of the read forward. Um, okay. With the options we have come up with, yeah, which will lead to the best outcome? Oof. Okay. Um. This is me now having to have a think on the possibilities of what Thrall will do. <laughs> but sorry, you have someone with time magic. In no, no, no. Brain. It's fine. It's fine. It's one of those. Thrall is also sometimes just a capricious little asshole, and you never really know what they're gonna do. Uh, it's great. I hate time change quickly. Time is fluid. Yeah. Uh, so honestly, distracting yes. them with someone that they did specifically call out while the rest of you do attempt to go in and grab the heart seems like a pretty solid plan to keep their attention um because otherwise yeah your best option's gonna just be charging in and yeah <clears throat> Hand to God, I think the only two people who've appeared in this game who have the deception to lie to Thrall are Jacques, because he literally cannot roll lower than a 25 Yeah, at decimal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both of them are Meanwhile, currently- Meanwhile, sending in charisma dump um, status to Buffyus. Yeah. <laughs> the lowest Lynn can roll in deception is 24. Lynn could potentially hang it back because they both are on that, uh, I don't like you list. Mm -hmm. However, Lynn is probably the sneakiest member of the party. Yeah. Yeah, that's also fair shit. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Lynn, Lynn does actually do, she does drop a mention. Again, Lynn has been glacially quiet for all of this stuff, except for one or two chimes in. She just just go, I know you're going to disagree, but if it comes down to it, when you run, let me be with the pit. If Just it run. comes down to it, I cast Word of Recall and we all get out. We're not leaving anyone behind. No, when we're not, no one's getting left behind, but... Then we're not letting you pull any self-sacrificial bullshit. It's, it's not self-sacrifice. I mean, it's certainly sounding like it. Yeah. I can't articulate it right now, but... I need a moment with it. And we try and capture it, but this is not the environment to do that moment. This well, would put you in danger. I know, it, it's literally, it's literally if we need a moment, if we need a moment for us to get away with that recall, with whatever there is, we just need, just need a moment. What do you want from it? I can't. I can't. I can't. Say it in Echo? Gregory's. Yeah, Memoir will, like, look at Lynn and then just, um, put his fingers to his earring and tap on that mental door and just share it this way. That's the fun thing. You know when you have you know when that moment when words die on your tongue? Mm -hmm. There is an emotion there that you cannot articulate, cannot even like, conceive how to articulate. To even describe it is difficult beyond measure. Try breaking it down into different sensations, maybe? Grief. It's grief. Where? It is grief and horror and shock and understanding and grief and grief and apology and understanding. And 
companionship, kinship in a way, but no, grief is the main hit, all tinged in glacial. You know what that thing's gone through. You can't hear it. No, but I can hear you. And for the first time since all of this started, she turns to you guys. And you do not have to roll any level of insight or perception. Lynn is crying. Not in a way that is heaving sobs, but it's that way that you start and you never realize when you started. She is crying. Memoir will kind of huff and sigh and say, all right, I was being harsh on you, telling you that you're being foolish with this, but I maintain that while I understand some of why you want to interact with it, some of why you need that moment, this isn't the place. I understand. It's literally last resort. I agree with you, but I don't think you're going to get the closure you're looking for there. It's not my closure that I want. I don't think it will happen either. Regardless, we need to make a decision quickly. I... He kind of frowns and rubs at his forehead and runs his fingers over the uh, golden pocket watch in his hand and says, the best option is to start a dialogue and sneak behind them. I don't like it at all because their perception, their ability to see, they are all eyes. Stealth is going to be a fucking nightmare. But our best option at the moment is not to try and draw them into a fight. It's Asclepius here to write, you are called so you start the dialogue, the rest of us go around. Cool. I have to figure out a way to keep their attention off. Mm -hmm. Anyone who needs it, I can inspire. Either side of this coin. I mean... Asclepius' <laughs> mm -hmm. background trait is literally called All Eyes on You, so... Oh my god! Oh yeah, he's a far traveler. <laughs> he's a far traveler. Um, he will reach forward and tap everyone on the shoulder, um, one of you three, uh, uh, and cast Enhance Ability, Cat's Grace, so you have advantage on dex checks and don't take damage from falling 20 feet or less. Hey, nice. Fabulous. Just, just character. Mm -hmm. Out of character. Who's the least stealthy bitch of us? I my guess is Gregory. <laughs> Gregory, you'll guess Gregory. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just checking. It's a... probably Gregory. Stealth is plus two, but you know, you're getting a. He also has the advantage of amulet, so Thrall can't literally take a peek and see where he, where he is. But in yeah. terms of like actually sneaking past in person, yeah. You're you're getting the d6. Stealth is a plus three cool. over here. Yeah. Okay. Tingling for the oh, room. Plus d6. <laughs> Your rogue is playing hide Our rogue seek. is currently busy dealing with the abomination. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. And while she doesn't give the inspiration to Asclepius, because Craigery clearly needs it more for this stealth, dear gods, she does give you a hug. Just a quick one. Just around the <laughs> knee. Craigery will actually tap Asclepius on the arm, and Asclepius, you're going to get a guidance. Oh, appreciate it. Um... On his end, Discuppies is passing sectory on himself because he wasn't joking about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Smart. Mm. Actually, but... mm. yes. If we're all casting spells, it would probably be good to have an idea of where the stealth squad is aiming for. All right. Probably. I have locate object. Hey. There we go. So... Um, 
memoir will like look at everyone casting spells and realize, oh, I can do that too. <laughs> memoir. Memoir, memoir my beloved. beloved. Yeah, the same brain cell battle. <laughs> memoir is just like, oh, I have magic. Yeah. All right. Uh, and, and yes. He will. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. Just I was agreeing uh, with uh, V Wild's suggestion. But yeah, okay, so do your thing. Yeah. Uh, he kind of holds his hands out uh, and seemingly just pulled out of the air around him. Dust collects in his hands and then turns a bright red hot, melting together into a smooth disc of glass. Um, and he's not going to draw on his own memories for the item he's looking for. He's, or, well, he is, but not the him you know. Mm -hmm. He draws on his memories as chrono clockworks, as the him that is himself, but is also Gibbs, and remembers what that heart feels like, what it looks like, what it feels like to have it within you, etc. Everything that it means. Mm -hmm. And transfers that into the glass as it cools. Um, to, to create basically um, basically a GPS to it. Yeah. All right. Targeting system. Yeah. You in 30 feet, yeah. turn left. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you get, <laughs> uh, you can get a, the best way I'm going to describe it now, just because for, uh, that's how I know how a uh, locate object works. Yeah. You get a ping. It's, uh, further in it's down um but you do get a ping of where it is so mm -hmm. and you will have on this disc of... yeah on this disc of glass that ping manifests as a bright spot of gold light that shines through the glass you have almost a dragon like it's radar. been hit by a sun yeah basically okay cool it's like it's been hit by a sunbeam and there is a path drawn to it hell yeah yep all right, so you have your destination, and we are going to take a quick break because I realize now it is seven o'clock. Yeah, it's four o'clock here. And we have been going for a hot minute. Oops. Uh, we've, been, we've been going for uh, just under two and a half hours. Yeah. Wahoo. Wahoo. Hee hoo. Are I we just... all having fun? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. And tell tower. me when to stop Do flipping. It. Stop. Oh, well, we got a card ejected from the deck. Hey! Alright, we got two cards. Oh man, I forgot about the aberration. We have the Hierophant and the... I think that's seven? Four, five, six, seven. No, the eight of wands reversed. Hmm. That's. I gotta remember. Eight of Wands is travel. If I no, that's seven. Eight of Wands. No, Eight of Wands is travel. Yeah. Uh, movement, fast paced action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, travel, etc. Uh, but reversed, it means delays, frustration, resisting change, and internal internal alignment. <laughs> So, you know, delays and frustration, winks at decimal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hide and seek that bitch. Hide and seek that bitch. He's doing a good job. Uh, and I'm looking ah! I'm looking at the ah! Hierophant. I get the feeling Asclepius is gonna be an MVP again. Probably. You asshole! Okay. You little fucking asshole! Being a meanie? Um... Being very Dude. mean. She's biting my toes it's very hard. Ooh. Nom 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 tasty. <laughs> the the Hierophant is spiritual wisdom, religious beliefs, conformity, tradition, and institutions. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I'm looking very physically at the box on that. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah. Those are our cards to see what the ending's gonna be like. Let's fucking go. Let's go. All right. Oh, we go back. Wait, 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 one more. I think I know the answer, but... King of Cups, yes or no? Hmm. Don't like that. Oh, boy! Mm -hmm. Well, the question was, is anyone gonna yeah. die? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Why would you ask that? No one is gonna die today. We need everyone alive, and the only person we'd want to die is on the other side, and we don't think the they're time, gonna go today. The time was left open ended. Mm -hmm. People die eventually. We all die someday, either kill or get killed. <laughs> <laughs> Insert flowy theme here. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Try some stick, guys. I pulled the King of Cups, and the answer was... The answer for a yes or no, if you pulled the King of Cups, is yes. Ah. Interesting. So, you know, let's... Let's, let's hope that's wrong. I'd like a Scorpius. Many, Scorpius many, 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 many resurrection spells. Mm-hmm. Well, so many restrictions, both. Alrighty. Lind, let's not have that item. With that under our belts. Yep. Let's jump right back right. into it. <laughs> right back on in the hell we go. Mm -hmm. Just do vaguely <laughs> sauntering downwards. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just took a bite. One sec. <laughs> You said, let's go, and then immediately took a bite of snack. I did. I'm sorry. Mm. You're valid like and you're lovely, and we appreciate that you're taking the time to self-care. In my defense, it's just fucking delicious. Cracking nose. Anyway, um... Oh, hello. Startled myself with my cord. <laughs> okay, so... Y'all are, uh... Y'all have your plan. So, how are you? And don't worry, Babel. Uh, Gibbs will Gibbs will come back. Don't worry. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. These it's play it's playing hide and seek with decimal right now. Um, how you getting Thrall's attention? I... Well, um, I think Scuffy just walks out into the open. Um, maybe 30 feet in front of the entrance of the, the Uncanny Valley and goes, Thrall, we need a word. Dormammu, I'm here to <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> exactly, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to make the record. <laughs> no, it's perfect. <laughs> um, all right. So, you say that, and... You, Thrall, uh, you don't have to wait long. There is the immediate, like, there's the immediate sound of claws on rock as something big has scrambled to attention. And then you hear continued sounds as whatever this thing is, starts to follow the Thrall out. And you see, you see Thrall's eyes before you see it. Because you realize after a moment that this thing is just pure shadow. It is filling almost the entire entrance of this, of the Uncanny Valley. And it follows behind them basically as a, as a, as a guard would. Um, and Thrall is 
they aren't moving with purpose. This is casual. This is unworried, measured. Their arms are clasped behind them as they stop in the right on the entrance to the tunnel. And what you can only assume is their pet heaves itself out and it's Gregory had said wolf-like this thing is only wolf-like in head shape its body is long limbs multiple all hands grabbing and pulling itself along uh and it has more than one set of eyes they're all focused on you Asclepius and it is circling around as Thrall stands uh, basically at the entrance. I see you've got my message. We did. Rather crude way to send you over, but here we are. Well, I have been One way to put it is, I, I was presented an opportunity, and I decided to take it. You have a tendency to do that, I've noticed. <laughs> if one does not jump at the opportunities presented, then one can never hope to make progress. Rather reckless of you. <laughs> You say that, and yet, here I am, and here you are. True. I can't deny the efficacy of your actions. <laughs> I can, however, object to their morality. Well, morality has nothing to do with this. What does this relate to? This is... A bit of a grievance, we'll say. You took someone from me. And you know the old saying, an eye for an eye. Makes the whole world blind. I'm familiar. <laughs> Indeed it does. But... I can't help but feel like I would be better. I think I can't. There, fuck me, God. <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> I can't help but think I would. Negotiations feel... going south. It's going. It's going south. Oh shit! Negotiations are broken down. No, I can't help but feel <laughs> like I would find some comfort in knowing that you also would be blind. To keep with the metaphor, anyway. Assuming, of course, that I respond in kind. Mm -hmm. Thus far, you have acted, we have reacted. I am only acting because, well, my initial, well, my initial movements were business related, so it was purely coincidental that they all happened to be of yours. They seem. There's just a tiny bit of a twinge of the irony and just, of course, it would be like that because the damn plot. Um, but this one is a bit more motivated by revenge because, or is a bit more reactive on my part. Because, see, you acted first there when you reduced my dear colleague to ash and scattered them into the wind. No. A reaction to a reaction. Mm. I'm assuming you're familiar with what that mm. associate did to one of my dear friends. Oh, I'm well aware. I've been kept very well abreast of that situation. It was progressing quite admirably. 
and then you had to go and intervene. And then you intervened yes. again. Halloween Town makes it a business to help those who ask for it. <laughs> you also make it a habit of stealing shipments, I notice. Don't think I've forgotten that you still have my Thalmavor. Your Thalmavor, as you so put it, is not yours. She has her own person. That is something I can only assume you have done. That's the time of sale. No, actually. <laughs> She's always been a person. She just hadn't realized it. <laughs> Funny how you seem to think that. And yet she was only created for this purpose. And she was paid for. And then you stole her from me. Oh, how terrible to rescue someone from a life of servitude. Hmm. Such a life is not so terrible. I would know. And they they extend their hands and the, the shackles on their wrists kind of jingle. I assure you, it's not as terrible of a life as you think. I'm aware you're attempting to make it sound reasonable, but your intentions are anything but. <laughs> what you plan to do is not something that comes like, and it is not something without repercussion. Oh, I am well aware of what the potential repercussions are. That is why I am Then you- <laughs> Go ahead. Then you know it will likely end with you dead. I'm well aware. As long as I succeed, that's all that matters. That is what my master wants. And when you fail? <laughs> you are assuming that I will fail. This is Einquil. I'm well aware that this is Einquil. And I'm also well aware that it sometimes has a penchant for stories that get dismal rather quickly. Said stories always resolve rather neat. Yes. You will come close, but I don't think you will succeed. <laughs> oh, there's been a shift of narratives for some time now. Haven't you heard? Letting the villains succeed and then letting the heroes pick themselves up after is becoming quite a popular trope, I've noticed. Ah, uh, yes. As long as, I <laughs> as long as I succeed, whatever you do after will not undo what I've done. And that is all that matters. Your success will end most of the stories. Will it, or will it stop more from being erased completely before they've even had a chance? I don't know that it will. Hmm. Nature finds a way, irrespective of what we mere mortals do. Indeed it does. All things come to an end eventually. Yes, even endings, so to speak. I don't plan to leave a I don't plan to leave a void there though. I'm not so callous and careless. It will be replaced by something that is already dead. <laughs> you seem so confident in that. Well, I am. <laughs> because if it weren't dead, then it wouldn't need you. Dead things tend to congregate together. This town is an example. So it is. Hmm. Thrall is staring at you incredibly hard, Asclepius. Um, 
it's not just the stare of you have my full attention. It is the stare of they seem to be searching for something. A real insight trying to figure out what they're searching for. Yep. What'd you get? Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, oh. Uh, that is a 33. Holy shit! Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. Asclepius! Um, Asclepius? Thrall is considering you the same way that they would consider, the same way that one per someone considers a candidate. Hmm. hmm. We hate that. Yeah. And the more that they look at you, the more sure they seem. Hmm. Obvious looks back with a very serene expression. Um, just just keeping a, a quiet mental note on where that head is mm -hmm. the entire time that they're talking. Yep. It has circled around. It is now me making a mental clock because it went it went anti-clockwise around you. It is currently. It is currently at your four o'clock. Behind us at the right. Okay, don't. It's doing nothing but circling. Um. And with this lull in conversation. Hey, everyone else, do you want to roll some stealths? Yeah, I have an advantage. Yeah. Don't be suspicious, so don't be suspicious. <laughs> Holy okay, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Craigery has an inspiration. Oh, really now? Yes. While well, we've got a brief lull in conversation. He has advantage and inspiration. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, shit. You don't get we advantage that. on the inspiration, but you have advantage and inspiration. God, I love going mono e mono in talks with the thrall. Yeah. <laughs> add, the, add the d6, Kraken. Add the d6. Yeah. Oh, right. 21! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow! 25, 23, 21. That's a pleasing scale. I like that. That really Damn. is. Uh, let me double check what Thrall's passive is, because I think you guys just beat it. I think it's a 22. I believe it is yeah. a flat 20. Yeah, it is. It's a flat 20. Y'all beat it. Congrats. Nice. Damn. Nice. What? Of Thank God for bardic inspiration. Yeah. I I love that Lynn has it. I think part of the reason why Lynn rolled well is she is slightly timing movement with the conversation. So mm -hmm. rise and fall of words muffles any aspect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Excellent. God, these that was the quick thing I wanted to do. Just you all have managed mm -hmm. to sneak in. Um, it was mostly just, this is a perfect loaf where if you guys are going to get seen, this is where you would get seen. Uh, so, um, Sneak. Yeah, you, you are sneaking. Congrats. Um, was the Sclepius <laughs> going to do something at the moment? Or... Uh... Um, goodness. Okay, he's... he's, he's... Putting some things together. He's mm -hmm. putting some things together. Um, I don't think he's quite got the whole picture yet. Mm -hmm. You realize a thumb of war would not be able to destroy the amount of magic needed <laughs> to usurp a god. Indeed. That's why I have methods to clone them. Even then. You would be surprised what an army can do. I'm not sure that I would. After all, what is an army of thalmivores like of locusts? <laughs> that depends now, isn't it? It's... The metaphor is a little... Flimsy at this point. 
but if you can draw it into a point, if you can focus those locusts to a point, well, then it would be quite easy to just remove them with some cleansing fire now, wouldn't it? If you could perhaps draw them in. Assuming the locusts can even digest the food provided. Magic that Thanks. destroys tends not to be particularly discriminatory. It does not, but they don't need to. They don't need to destroy it. They need to. Thinking of a proper word here. Disperse it. Pull it away. Just enough. And then if you can get at the inner workings, you can, ch you can change it. And when that magic comes back, it will adapt to its new, well, it will adapt to the new form. Or it will overwhelm <laughs> and return to how it was. The river does not change its course so easily. That is why That is why you come prepared to do to do it by force. Bishop Ward, what then? Say again. We will have. Uh, he said, "If it should work, what ah, then?" Okay. You will have no purpose. Your master will have no need of you. Hmm. Indeed, he will not. Perhaps then I'll finally be allowed to die. What a wonderful notion that is. If it is death you seek, <laughs> I am a master of graves. My death cannot occur yet. Not until I am not able to simply... Well, to put it crudely, I am not able to simply lay down and die. I must That's wrong, <laughs> It is not a choice. Not arrogance on your part. <laughs> Who are we to understand the notions and the whims of gods, Asclepius? I dare say we are more equipped than most. <laughs> And yet we are not at all, are we? Well, I suppose that's why they call it faith. <laughs> Indeed. Tell me. What do you plan to do now? <laughs> I plan many of But in this present moment, I have a question to ask you. Very well. Ask away. This pet of yours, mm -hmm. where did you find it? it was I've a never gift. seen anything quite like it. It was a gift from my dear colleague. How made? Mm -hmm. Indeed. The result of countless thousands of hours of labor. Given as a gift. <laughs> Countless thousands of hours of suffering, too, I assume. Oh, yes, of course. 
You've by no doubt, you've no doubt by now deduced who my colleague is. You know their modus operandi. I am rather well acquainted with it. Or rather, was. That, uh, their eyes kind of sharpen at that. Indeed. Exactly what he was hoping <laughs> for. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I should imagine this will end up like the others. And it will be a mercy. Mm-hmm. If you are able to do so, it has proven very tenacious. And at this point, the pet has circled back around a thrall's side, and they place a hand on its head, just kind of absently petting. Tenacity is an admirable trait, but even tenacity has its limits in the face of a little divine intervention. Ooh, that gets another. You mean to say... Hmm, how do I want to word it? Are you planning a fight? Planning a fight? No. I'm merely telling you what would happen should you start one. (laughs) I have no intentions of starting one. I'm glad we're in accord. My pet is merely here for my protection. And yet I came alone. Funny. Just roll in an insight. <laughs> I'm sclepious, I'm sorry. His passive deception is an 11. Yeah, uh, that's a <laughs> 34. I mean, technically, yep. he's not lying. He's, he's not lying. come out into the clearing alone. <laughs> he came for dialogue alone. He did not come all this way alone. Mm-hmm. But you are in Halloween Town. It is reasonable to assume that Carr was probably watching him. Of course. But now he is alone. You are not quite as alone as you think as you say you are. After all Carr is not paying. <laughs> Carr is not listening to this conversation. She affords privacy where she can. And yet were I to say, and they they raise a hand like they're going like they're prepared to snap their fingers. I'm certain she would be very quickly paying attention. I'm certain you would have to take a moment to consider that course of action first. I would. And even even raising a hand mm-hmm. to mimic it, you can f- feel the gentle pulse directing you away from that particular course of action from the Sanctuary cast earlier. Yep. And Thrall has that... Ah. (laughs) So you are more prepared than you let on. I am not a fool. (laughs) I knew should this conversation go south, you would likely outmatch me in your power. You would definitely outmatch me in the number of attacks you could achieve. I figured it best to afford myself a little protection. I'm certain you have done the same. They dip their head in a, like, in a conceding motion. Of course. That is why I have no intention of attacking. After all, as you said, we're merely here to have a dialogue. And as I said, I am glad we are in accord. Mm -hmm. So tell me, I feel I already know, but what do you hope to achieve with this? I feel it is fairly obvious, but I want to hear you say it. He, He takes a moment to consider his answer, and then goes... I always hope for a diplomatic result to things. Violence is 
Not something I take pleasure in. And then you know how the most diplomatic end can be here. So I will simply jump ahead and ask, what will you trade in exchange for the fox's heart? is a moment. I am not one to make such offers lightly. I know that there are some specific answers you are looking for, most of which I cannot give. Thrall kind of inclines their head in a way of understanding. There is one thing that I can offer freely. And that it is not something I would give without a friend. So that too is unfortunately off the table. character how how far how, how yeah far? i was actually about <laughs> to i was actually about to jump to the others because i have a line i kind of want to drop if okay. they're about to if they're ready to go okay if they're so ready to cut and run in, so. a, in a fun uh okay so in a bit of spacing um when thrall asks what will you give me in return we cut then to into the tunnels as the group makes their way down mm-hmm how long have we been talking? Because I need to know if uh, the it's not locate up is still up. It, it's not been ten minutes. Your locate is still up, yes. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, part of that is me going, I have no idea uh, how uh, how long that conversation has taken, but we're just going to say, yeah. Like, in our time, it took more than ten minutes. But... Yeah. But that was partially because, well, we have to think and we have to pause and consider yeah. and yeah, like and describe what the what the actions are like and the roles. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. D and D, D and D nonsense. So yeah, yeah. So it's been you're approaching the end of your locate object. Um, you guys had to be pretty stealthy entering the tunnels and true to the true to the nature the the un, the, the uncanny valley. It's you saw that dim red light at the entrance. It's way further down than it should have been. Uh, there's twisting, winding paths that seem to make no sense for what should have just been like a straight, you know, go down, turn a corner or two and be there. Um, no, it's not that simple. You guys are basically following this locate object and this dim light deeper and deeper down until you could almost it's almost like you're you know under how because halloween town has tunnels that run under it it almost feels like you should be under there um it's impossible to know outside of Kara, you know coming to say hi uh <laughs> so but car is busy um <laughs> But car is busy being the leather man. Yeah. Um, um, but as you, you've gone down for what feels like an impossibly long time, but you know it's only been about 10 minutes because your spell is still up. So you guys, your locate object is like, I mean, it's beep, 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 like right on top of y'all. Uh, and as you kind of look around, you don't immediately see anything. Uh, so if you want to roll me some investigations really quick. 
the, you ask the detective if the detective wants to roll investigation. I know. I'm well aware of what I said. The lawyer, if the lawyer wants to roll investigation. And the wizard. I'm well aware of what I said. Roll me them damn investigations. <laughs> fucking 20, you bastard! Yay! I'm rolling really good today. 25. We're gonna save this damn fox. And then a 13. <laughs> Bless you, Gregory. Chris already really twisted around. Gregory's also... Listen, his head is in the game, but also kind of not. He's nervous. Doesn't like being in the uncanny valley with good reason. Yeah. Honestly. It's that. Yeah. It's what they're looking to pick up. It's everything about this is just, oh, man. Mm-hmm. And... The whole ass person's heart and everything else right there. Yep. So that's fair. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that's an intense thing to have of someone's. Yup. Mm -hmm. I, <clears throat> I do find it strangely amusing that we are in a place that has that red glow in the uncanny valley with the pet outside and Lynn is this much in the zone. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. <laughs> Lynn is vibing because if she thinks about it too hard... Yeah. <laughs> she's slipping into something natural and she's just focusing on that. Understandable. Yeah, don't... don't over-consider. So, anyway. Yeah, y'all... We rolled investigation. We rolled investigation. <laughs> yeah, you've, you've... you've... you've passed this investigation just like, holy shit. So, uh... Needless to say, you're peeking around, you're looking around. That wall don't look real. Or I should say, you feel along the wall and your hand goes through it. Hmm. So. It was it was not a very high investigation, but. This is the question. Mm-hmm. Ethan tonight. Lynn's not great at Arcana, but could she roll to see if this is gonna trigger anything and Thrall figure out what they're doing? I'll say you're basically wanting to do a trap sense. Yeah? Question so, mark? I yes. Um, yeah. Magical traps are still... You net 20 that investigation, which is what would help you identify. Would magical traps also require an arcana check? RJ, help me remember. Um, identify a trap... God, I wish we had Pathfinder rules for this. Um, I know. I would say yes, because you're trying to identify the magical effect. Okay. Which requires some knowledge of magical in the arcade. Okay. So, I will say yes, make me an arcana. Oh. Uh, that is... Oh, that's a good roll. That's a good... Yay! I was saying, if Gregory Six. wants to help... <laughs> like yeah, Yay. you know, let Gregory know what you're doing and let the wizard do this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Legitimately, I find it that Lynn didn't know Arcana, got miffed, and went and studied, because that's a 22. Holy shit! Nice. Lynn's Arcana be almost as good as Gregory's. Damn. 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 Legitimately, I look at Lynn. I look at Lynn and I look at her and how she's paranoid and she doesn't like when she has a weak point and so she will supplement. She is learning because it is what she has to do. Damn. So. So yes, it will in fact, um, there is an alarm. You can dispel magic mm. it. I know that! Yeah. Lynn actually does know that this exact, she's read the report of Mira and Gregory from before. Mm-hmm. So it's just, she does look at them both and doesn't speak. She signs because sound carries. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm. Motion sensor trap. We can dispel it, but then we'd have to move quick no matter what. Yep. Uh, Gregory nods and you can cast a spell magic. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Ready? All right. Yep. Does he need to do any... Uh, let me double check what level... I just need to double check a level. I'm pretty sure you don't need to oh, do yes. anything. Alarm is first. Alarm is first level. It is cool, yeah. So yeah, no, you don't. It just... 
There Snap the fingers. Yep. <laughs> Link is gonna grab. Once the heart is like available, grab. Once that dispel oh. magic is done, grab and go. I guess. Well, do you take a moment to look around your surroundings really quick in this room? I... Lynn's not an idiot, yes. Okay, good. Um... <laughs> I've got a passive of 22 nowadays, and yeah. she's got decent intelligence hey, and She's not... Babel! Mm hmm? Do you want to paint a word picture here of what they're saying? Mm hmm? Very confused. I didn't. I don't know if we there, we had. We don't. But it's... clearly, the thrall isn't holding it. The thrall is not. So holding I don't it know all. what. I don't know what is being done onto the heart because okay. I don't think we established that. We did not. Uh, that's why I was asking. Did you want to? Or at least to describe what it looks like right now. Uh, well, I can establish what the heart looks like. Yeah. 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 Do that for me, and I'll paint the rest of the picture. Okay. Um, so those of you who have already seen its heart already know that it usually is very bright gold with a weld through its... through half of it. That weld has since been broken. About halfway down to its middle. And in its middle, where that weld is, um, stops, or well, the, where the break stops, there is a pin in it, seeming to keep it together, and it's shaped like, like a star. It's entirely black with a white swirl, and the swirl is spinning. Hmm. It's very clearly trying to keep it together because the heart is kind of like trying to break in half. Mm -hmm. And uh, fun fact: the other thing you immediately notice, um, Thrall didn't leave it unattended. You dispel the stuff. Uh. Oh, world made a whiz check. What you doing? Don't worry, I just recognized a certain motif and uh, don't worry about it. Okay. Um, I know. This Interference from the other half. Don't worry. Okay, well, um, yeah, Thrall didn't leave it unattended. You dispel the uh, alarm and you start to step in. You're looking around and there is a growl. Apparently the pet was not completely whole when it came up with its master. There is a wolf here. Standing guard. Oh boy. Alright. You can either fight or you can grab and run. That is your decision. Memoir has the umbrella at the ready and looks, um, hmm, mm -hmm. looks to Lynn because this is Lynn's plot related shit and yep. it's just, what's the move? Uncanny cargo punchy boys. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn is making dead eye contact with that pet mm -hmm. and she does just and she says it now because they have been spotted just memoir Riri. grab the heart and run You're and it's stay in here you you straight up you the voice she uses memoir that's not lynn that's detective stagehand Go. I'm right behind you. Go. Uh. You better fucking be. <laughs> Go. Gregory will look very unhappy about this, but 
hold out and support the heart. You hold out for it. Uh, if you reach to grab it, the wolf in a display of uh, probably a bit more intelligence than you anticipated, places one clawed paw on the heart and digs those claws into it. Hex. And yes. the heart grows even brighter. Hi. This is a question. If Lynn were to say something to this, would it be animal handling or persuasion? Ooh. You know, I think that's a... It's an aberration. Yeah. By definition, it is not an animal. Yeah, so it would be persuasion. Cool, because the lowest you can roll on that, because of the silver tongue thing, is... Let me see if I can recall. Ten plus your modifier. Yeah, so... It's not the highest modifier, I'll give you that. But that's an 8, so the lowest she can roll is an 18. Cool. That is a 19 plus 8. And... Man. You see, you both see her look. And she looks it dead in the eye, and then... It's her voice, but not, as she just goes... None of that now, my pet. Oh... Fucking speaking parcel time in this bitch. All right. So, a couple of things happen in this interim. Uh, Babel, if you would. Uh... So, after the claws hit it, uh, there is an ungodly screeching. Because, you know, claws on metal, of course. The heart glows an even brighter red. And there are jolts of magic that string from it and up the arm of that part of the pet. I don't know if that does anything to the pet, but I can hear. It, uh, the arm kind of ripples like it's, um, like the magic that's going up it is basically creating a massive wave and then it settles back into an arm. Mm-hmm. So if you want, if you guys want to do something to figure out what the fuck that was, go for it. Because now it is sparking. Oh, Can I argue an advantage because context? Time. Go for it. Clearly it's mm, dancing. Yeah, I don't it. know why they need to roll for that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's ready on a little plane. It's going to burst into fireworks and heal itself. No. Wow. <laughs> Doing this as a no. history check, uh, we'll take the fucking 22 because the other roll is a six. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't remember what we have the DC for. Um, it's a uh, four. Hang on. I have double checked. Uh... Specifically for Memoir and Asclepius, it's a 10, so... Okay. <laughs> uh, Kraken uh, also hits it, Gregory hits it, and, uh... Lynn probably did hit it. Okay. What did, what did Lynn roll? Uh, right, uh, da 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 This, what kind of roll was this again? History. Cool. Oh, history? Yeah, I thought it was just intelligence. Oh, intelligence, oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, I just- I rolled history because context. Should I roll intelligence? Uh, yes. Does it change? Uh, I don't think it- If it doesn't, it, then no. Then it doesn't yeah, no, matter. it doesn't change anything. It's still a plus three. Okay, cool. Okay. That's- I put the wrong thing in, but that's a 21. Yep, okay, that's enough. <laughs> uh, doing damage to the heart makes the heart have a burst of wild magic. Or some kind of oh, good. magic, mm -hmm. and hurts you. You don't know what kind of th things that it does. If it does hurt you, but you do know that you have to be careful with that. Yep. <laughs> because it has its own defenses. Hey, yep. 
You don't know if Thrall had the wolf be the one constantly hurting it or not. Their, well, their hands are clasped behind their back, so, you know. Yeah. I think... I think we can read the fucking room, Hex. <laughs> <laughs> can you? Sometimes I like to just get flowery, though. Anyway. I think we can read the fucking room, Hex. <laughs> Is... Is this iteration of the pet still got its hand or Paw. claws on the heart? Uh, it did until you had said none of that now. Mm-hmm. And it, it freezes. And there is the head tilt of, well, of, you know, an animal trying to figure something out. Um, And almost the faintest wag of a tail. It doesn't move back, but it has locked eyes with you, Lynn. And how fitting in this room with the red tinge that's turning her eyes a wonderful shade of red. Yep. It might be loyal to the Thrall, but it cannot forget its creator, after all. And in a way, these are kinship. Mm-hmm. So, is Memoir or Gregory or Lynn making a move to grab the heart from it? Uh, from the wolf. Gregory would. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, if Lynn did seems like the say wolf has been. Mm-hmm. So. If it seems like, you know, the wolf is not going to attack, or at the very least that Lynn has things well in hand, Mm-hmm. Memoir would be moving forward because, oh, they, you know, yeah. history check, 22, context, they know how that feels. Fuck no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, as you two approach, the wolf does growl at you. Uh, <laughs> I have no mind. And it appears. Have- oh, go ahead. They are not your feast yet. And it immediately, it stops and it kind of lowers its head as if cowed. (laughs) You are able to take the heart. What happens when they take it, Babel? Uh, We would have to pan over to Decimal for that. Ayo, let's pan over to Decimal really quick. How you doing, how, buddy? How long, how long have they been playing hide and seek? That is an excellent question. Uh, I'm gonna say it's probably been between starting hide and seek, getting out there uh, to uh, the tunnel. You know, all of everything, everything happening. I'm gonna ballpark, and I'm just gonna say like 30 minutes. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, he's doing okay still. Um, I was just a con because that's like a half hour of basically nonstop running. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. yeah. With a busted leg. Yeah. Um, he he is. And are you sure you want to know what it can do? <laughs> yeah. No, he does not want to find out. Um, like you said, ideally this thing will not touch him. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> thankfully today. The so far, it's been bumbling around hands. like an idiot. <laughs> Likely to say the bad days in his hands, not his leg. Yeah. Um, so he's he's doing okay, keeping keeping his pace. Uh, <laughs> he's still keeping. A I'm close sorry. Eye on I'm imagining the image in my head just gave me like you know that white suburban mom speed walk. <laughs> <laughs> How fucking dare you! I'm so offended. How fucking dare you inflict <laughs> that on Decimal? <laughs> Decimal is power walking. Power walk. You can stalk your mom at a supermarket. Have Have you ever seen a cat on the street? 
mm-hmm. pondering around. Yeah, low to the ground. How it like, how it goes. Trot, trot, trot. Trot, 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 then sounds like a pay, uh, like a burst of speed. Yeah. It's it's kind of like that, which is probably part of why it's so taxing and <laughs> doing it for a half hour is not fun. No, it isn't. Cats are not resistance predators. <laughs> uh, Unfortunately, well, uh, I think a thing made out of a bunch of torn out gears is, so, uh... Yeah, yeah. so... But he's doing well. Right. You know, yeah. running like clockwork! <laughs> so... Oh, get get absolutely up, fucked! <laughs> ba da ba ba da ba Jokes! <laughs> Alright, sorry, I'll shut up again. Do 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 Anyway, um, yeah, so they grab the heart, what happens? <laughs> Um, so you're running from this thing. Uh, but s- somewhere, like, you stop to look at it, because something changes in it. It slows down. Uh, doesn't seem to be stopping completely yet, but it is much slower. It slows to an almost dazed walking speed until it stops. Oh, he's definitely slow. slow. When it it slows, he, like, keeps running for a second and then realizes it's slowed, so he starts slowing down and then it starts walking, so he pivots on his heel to be walking backward, trying to figure out what the fuck is going on. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm not even gonna have you roll insight. A, that's pointless because he's got stupid fucking insight and gives an idiot that can't see for shit. (laughs) But also, the situation that it's in, it doesn't fucking care. Um, the look of relief on its face as whatever was keeping its eyes wide open it's gone. There's no more red as that just seems to drain out. But then it also goes completely dark on the inside. And that look of relief turns into it collapsing. Oh, He's gonna dart forward and try to catch it. Knowing full well it's probably not gonna work because this thing is fucking made of metal. <laughs> I was gonna say it weighs like six hundred pounds, decimal. Good luck. So At this one, it was like a thousand. This one gets crushed hour. to death. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it weighs like six hundred pounds. And he's been running for a half hour on a bad leg. Like <laughs> he manages to <laughs> ease it to the floor, I think, and then realizes that ah, shit. I put it on my leg. <laughs> <laughs> now you're trapped. Can't move. It's the law. Thankfully, he does not pay attention to any such laws, um, and will shove it off of himself and stand up with a wince uh, and look at the car and go, or look up the, the ceiling in general and go, I think they've managed to fix the problem, Kara, if you'd be so kind to take us back to the manor. <laughs> Which, is the anti-magic field still active? Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then a door spurts up 60 feet away and Decimal groans. <laughs> <laughs> Get dragging, Catboy! <laughs> Literally. Drag your kill, Catboy, to the doorstep of your loved ones. He is, he is going to grab the less broken arm, oh pull it over his shoulders, and start limping. We can literally make will, a look with the cat dragged in joke. Probably, probably <laughs> take like five minutes to get over there. Oh I bring a gift for you. Here. Here, goddammit. He just literally just fucking dumps it at Jacques' feet, like, here, take it. <laughs> Which, if it's face up, Jacques gets hit with that anti magic field. Hopefully, keep yeah. it Oof, down. Ow, his bones. <laughs> Ouch! This is burning <laughs> juice. His bones. Face down on the floor, for God's sake! <laughs> oh, so it's an anti-magic cone, not an anti-magic field. Yes, okay. correct. Yeah. Oh, and that could, 
You know what? No, the door will appear 60 feet ahead just for the fun of it, because that's really funny. <laughs> it is. It really <laughs> is funny. <laughs> You know, the mental image of when it's on the floor, looking up, seeing Jacques is fine, realising it's a cone, and Carl was just a shit. <laughs> Incredible. Decimal's just like, oh god damn you. <laughs> you make fun of the disabled men. Truly. <laughs> I can't believe Kara is cancelled. Damn. I can't believe we gotta cancel the little girl. <laughs> god. Oh my god. Alright. Um. Alright, with that brief bit of comedy over, we flip back to We uh... flip back. Uh... Okay. Uh, yeah, we're flipping back now. So, f flavor. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm good. Yeah, we were, lit yeah, we were literally flipping back right then. Oh, oops. <laughs> it's okay. Um. So, if Memoir is the one to pick up the heart, which, if it's okay with Kraken, I would like to say he is. Alright. Uh, he picks it up very, very, very gently, and um, almost immediately um, the... Uh, the lines that are sort of cracked into his arms that, uh, if you look closely, resemble strips of film wrap wrapped around the porcelain, uh, done in bright gold. Uh, they light up, and um, another feature of being a uh, a retrospect warlock is a a uh, little trick called the Persistence of Memory. Mm -hmm. With its ability to restore and revert objects depending on uh, on different memories that are drawn upon. Uh, restore is what we're going for here. Uh, and Memory can do this a number of times equal to his Charisma, mo charisma modifier, which is a plus four. He is doing all of those at once. It's a good thing Gibbs's heart is considered an object. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it is considered an object. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, in this context, it does not work. Aww. Bensive. Bensive. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. At least you have it, and unfortunately, you're one of the safest people to have it. Yeah, true. Yeah, I do he, apologize. Yeah, you know, he holds this heart, and there is just a momentary flood of just positive time energy. I don't know how else to describe it. Just mm -hmm. time almost the, power. Almost, it's almost a small bubble of nostalgia that ripples through the room. Um. Because nostalgia, you know, memories of a time when things were better is what that power draws on. And it might not be able to do much of an effect, but the the goal is, you know, to heal. Mm -hmm. And it does work on creatures as well as on objects. I don't know if that changes it any. Um, there is a sudden flash of a golden scythe that cuts into that magic. Ah, I see. Hmm. Bitch. Bitch. One moment. Bitch. One moment. And yes. A golden rib cage appears around it. Momentarily. Mm -hmm. Just enough to make sure that you know that somebody is keeping you from doing this. Bitch. Oh, yeah, and the a warning. Bitch. Bitch. Yeah, okay. That's a nine. So it's not, you know, blinded by anger, but um Oh, bird angry. Oh, he aimed. Memoir Memoir holds the heart very protectively, and upon seeing the scythe and the rib cage, something else is there for a second. Like there is a presence in the room with you that is not 
this is not your beautiful bird. This is something much older and much scarier. Terrifying. And it just says, <laughs> you fucking cunt. We're not bringing the big words out, okay. Tier four <laughs> swears. <laughs> so what's up, Patreon? Um, and just, there's this moment uh, of interface between Memoir and his other half, between him and Retrospect, because Retrospect recognizes that magic and he's pissed. Mm -hmm. Fucking bastard. We need to get out of here now. All right. Are you running? Lynn will be waiting until the other two have started to go. And then she's going to do one final thing. Mm -hmm. She's going to step forward. And her, her stride has lengthened. The way she holds herself has changed as she spreads her arms and she is smiling. She just goes, Not today. But we will meet again, my dear Black Mirror. <laughs> Wait for me. Yeah. And then, and then she turns, and well, the others. She's made sure that this interaction has taken long enough that they've got a good head start. Yeah. How long past both our deaths do we part? And then she runs. Yep. We are all running. Yep, everybody's <laughs> running. Uh, there is a pause before the growling does start back up behind you. Um, and about that time, we'll flash back to Thrall and Asclepius. Because the pet has circled back around to uh, Thrall and is starting another lap when it stops. And its head immediately turns towards the uh, tunnel entrance. And that's about the time that the growling does start. And it, Asclepius, you'll be able to also hear that bubbling up from within the mouth of the tunnel. And Thrall, right before that growling starts, asks you, So what will you give me for the fox's heart? This is not an offer that I make lightly. There are several answers that you are looking for, most of which I cannot give. There is one that I can give freely, but will not surrender without a fight. In this instance, however, I don't think I'll need to trade anything. Do the others come bursting out the tunnel? <laughs> <laughs> uh, like a bat out of hell. Like a fucking bat out of hell. Uh, the moment, the moment they are within 60 feet, um, I think it's 60 feet. Let me double check. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, 60 feet. The moment they are within, uh, Oh no, shit's feet. The moment they are within the tunnel, a Asclepius runs forward um, oh, oh boy. is going to cast Word of Recall the moment everyone is close enough. Oh shit, okay. Um, Lynn's close enough that she will be with the group. No one's getting left behind. Yeah. Can I just... I say this is just for the drama, but I'm also well aware that this could end poorly. Uh, can mm -hmm. Thrall... Would you allow, would you permit me Thrall to have Thrall do a dex to do a cat to cast, uh, as he's running forward to do I, this? I have a thought on that. Mm -hmm. Let me, because Lynn has something Thrall new. Thrall might have to do it at disadvantage. They might. Yeah. Uh, disadvantage and a, where is it? I know, I think you have this um, next. for Sanctuary, it's a wisdom save. Where? 
Where oh, is shit. it? Oh, I fuck. Am... Hang on. Fuck. Wait. Fuck. No, my dice. I need my portents. What no, were my portents? Right. Where is my goddamn... I don't okay. know. What's the duration on Psych Tree? That might have been Oh, yeah. Memory. That might have... Uh... I think it's a minute. Ooh. Um... Yeah, it's a minute. That's gone down. Okay, yeah. Psych Tree. It's not okay. much, but Lynn is also going to do something. She's going to do an unsettling word on Thrall, just for he who. Ooh, Understandable, okay. Right. okay. okay. Minus so roll... six, you goddamn thing, you motherfucker! Shit. Nice. Okay. Roll your deck. Gregory also feels like this is the time <laughs> to I'm, echo I'm... Thrall. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that, that'll put her at, that'll put them at disadvantage. <laughs> I'm assuming your will. You're you're basically making a spell attack? Is yeah, that, that is basically the okay. goal. Uh, Roll your spell attack at disadvantage, minus six. Cool! That's okay. Uh, <laughs> God damn. Let's see. What... Does anyone else want to go into your throw? Yeah, no, no this is perfect. They want to I love it. Out. This is perfect. It's just a matter of I was trying to figure out what the fuck they would even cast. Um... And I thought about being super mean, but I'm not going to be super mean. <laughs> so instead, we're going to just roll. We're going to roll it. We're going to roll them dice and we're going to see. Uh, that. Let's see. That's. I have to. Ma oh, shit. Hang on. I have to math. Oh, this we is why we have the response. This is why we I have know, I know. It's uh that plus this minus Oh wait, it's a disadvantage. Shit, hang on. Okay, one less. Okay. That actually might have made a difference. Uh minus six. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, fifteen. It messes. It messes. Hey! <laughs> Fingers just barely miss the end of the Scuffies' braid as he fucking rushes past. Yup. God. They had tried to immediately, uh, honestly, honest to God, I think they might have, uh, tried to basically hit him with, like, a polymorph or some shit. And I just, I, which I am aware is a save, but I was rolling an attack just to see if they could even get it off in time. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, no. And everybody said, fuck you. Yeah, which is good! Mm-hmm. Lynn just firing cool. something off in ancient Latin, everything going off all at the same time. This is great. They stagger forward as Gregory bombards them with Echo, and then he is immediately yeah. hit back as, uh... They shriek in his head, and now he are doubled over. Sorry. What I'm imagining is kind of like maybe Lynn grabbed Gregory's hand while well, Memoir and Gregory have each other's hands or something like that. And then wow. Lynn is leaning forward, and so is yeah. Sophia, yeah. and they join hands. Yeah. 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 They, don't, they don't even need to be touching, but that's really cute. Yes. <laughs> It's a good visual. It's a good visual. Lynn has and... got her tail around Craigery and she is reaching out for Asclepius. And above all of that cacophony, Asclepius shouts aloud, Take us home! And they vanish. And they reappear yeah. back in the manor. Yep. Because that's where the sanctuary was designated. Yep. So y'all arrive in a heap, basically, um, and you get a sight of Gibbs as Decimal drags it in. <laughs> Literally drags it in, dumps it on the floor, <laughs> and goes, there, you're welcome. <laughs> hobbles off, hobbles off to go sit down. <laughs> Holy shit. Memoir is immediately Decimal. running Thank forward. We got the heart. We got it. We did it. We're all we're we're all here. We did it. 
Um, so memoir, when you go to put it in, he didn't do no that yet. Is. But go ahead. Okay. When the time comes for you to try to put it in, it no longer fits. It is not a third of the size that it was. Prior. Hmm. Okay, I think to flavor having that knowledge, um, Memoir is a restorationist. He works with clockwork a lot. Specifically, he tends to work more with clocks and music boxes than anything he tends to fix. This is a whole person. It's very different, but he knows what the gears are supposed to look like, and he knows... He knows machines. Amor is better with objects and machines than he is with people. So he sees Gibbs, sees the mess that Thrall has made of his friend. Mm -hmm. And immediately goes into restoration mode of just, oh, what did they do to you? What did they do to you? Oh, okay. Okay, we can fix this. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay, my friend. It needs surgery. They need... They... We... People need to create something. It's gonna be okay. Would you permit me something? I can try and beseech help. I don't know if it'll work, but... Worth a shot, but that you should know someone else is interfering. And they will find they have met their match. You can try to intervention. Hey! <laughs> oh, God! Hell yeah! Will it work? Will it blend? <laughs> Fingers crossed, scared to look. 78. Damn it. Damn. <laughs> Oof. The lack and alas, not today. Not today. Uh, he, he... Actually, hmm. Could I theoretically give RJ advantage if, you know, that mm -hmm. other presence he knew was still hanging around? I... The other... I don't think so, just because, uh, the way divine mm -hmm. intervention works is between, you know, a creature and its deity, and it's not something that can really be, like, aided by outside mm. forces, so to speak. Yeah. I was yeah, thinking so... just, mm -hmm. you know, another source of divine magic, mm -hmm. you know, boosting the signal almost, but yeah. that's there. Yeah. Considering it's, it's... how annoying the other presence is, could we <laughs> possibly give advantage? <laughs> Considering I'm sure that that god is angry with this one. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, it's your character. Yeah. So. That... I, I gesture at you, it's your... <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll, I'll roll uh, it. Yeah, roll it again, see if, what you if this, if, this is, if this is something you want to... If this is a way you don't mind resolving that, then... Yeah. I, I don't mind. I don't it won't fix the heart, but it can fix part of the body. <laughs> Enough. Alright. Nope. Works. 93. Damn. 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 He he bows his head uh, over over Gibbs' body and mutters a prayer. Um, who in this room speaks Elwyn? Nope. Uh, uh, probably I will, not. I will say just because eventually we're gonna catch this wonderful, wonderful verbal. Lynn does have the helm of comprehend languages that she does keep up active as much as possible because, dear God, she doesn't want to miss shit that's what? important. What's the language? Uh, Elvin. Chateau does. Ooh. Mm. So we got um, two. RJ, take it away. I, I will ask Hex 
does Lynn have time to cast Comprehend Languages and time to cast them? Um, it's an action. Because it's, yeah, because it's not a, it's not the Hello Comprehend Languages, like it is in Pathfinder, where it's just an always active effect. It's, yeah. mm. it's an action. I would argue, hmm. You want me to do a roll for it or something? Like it's one of this is this is a very tricky situation because I would say yes, but that is only if Lynn is in the mindset of doing that. Also fair point. Mm. And so Lynn? if Lynn is not in a mindset to be to think of that or to do that, then I would not permit that. But if you can make a reasonable argument for her to be in that mindset then I will. I think I have one in that Lynn at this moment isn't shutting down. She's in that adrenaline jitter of every last little thing that is going on around her she needs to know immediately. Mm -hmm. Because they just got out of that fight at the same time it doesn't feel as though it's over yet in her mind and so if she hears anything or sees anything she is focusing on it. Okay. okay. Would you still like I would to roll make a roll just to see how quickly you can get it off because okay. it could be as Glupius is done before you're even like able to cast. Like, wisdom, perception, what would you say? It's uh, I'm I will defer. Does the helm have a stat for casting? Ah, uh, good question. Let me check. Yeah, let's see. Because if not, then intelligence, maybe? Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. It does not have one. It just says it's it's intelligence. It just... Uh, it just says that will. So intelligence, that is intelligence, which is check plus three. 18 plus three. Plus three. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that'll do it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, okay, so so he Ta-da. mutters this prayer, um, and there is a whisper, um, and it just says, I can't afford you this miracle yet. Scuppy sits back with a sigh. Hmm. This is fine. I have a backup plan. Mm -hmm. I do have to ask a question, though, RJ. Mm -hmm. One second, I'm being interrupted. (laughs) Dramatic. Da-da-da. You know you've really gone places when you can pause. And still have Hi, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I was asked about dinosaur nuggets. Ooh, I want dino nuggets. Ooh. I want dino nuggets. The sound of sure. dino nuggets swaps against the receiver. Oh, hell yeah. I have never, I've never had dino nuggies, and I, alas, probably never will. Insane. I'm getting you dino nuggies, goddammit. <laughs> but anyway, back to what you were doing. Um, <laughs> RJ, my beloved. If uh, Aeon were to have had a conversation with the spooks, would you allow it to have been possibly before this during the five days? I'm being interrupted again. <laughs> Dino nuggies are important, man. Dino nuggies are important. This is, this is your sign. If you've done so well as to get through the fucking four-hour nightmare that is this game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, go, get, go get yourself some dino nuggies. Go treat yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. This has it's been so a good. free essay. Oh, but get yeah. yourself some dino nuggets. I, I think Aeon, considering the names, would know a good moment. And a good moment is before today, so... <laughs> Yeah, um, so they, both the Jacques and the Sclepius have a similar pin to the one that is in Gibbs' heart, just smaller. 
longer. And those pins are basically, you can call, use that pin, stab a moment, <laughs> well, however that means to you, and basically call an Aeon for one thing. It has, they have their limits on what they can do, but they can do something in this situation. Basically putting a pin in a moment in time. Aww. To talk with you. Put a pin done. in it. I love that. Yeah, put a pin in it. Which that. is essentially what they did with, the, you know, it's hard. <laughs> to try to keep it alive. Mm-hmm. I've... Jacques bends down, pulls his own pin out, and puts a second pin into in into into the fur around Gibbs' chest. There is a very Cheshire cat face that appears there and says, "Now this is what I call a good use of a pin in it." And I as, you agree. Very well. Your wish is granted. So we meet again next time. As always, thank you for keeping an eye on Fox. And the face swirls in a star, dissipating. And gold. Or, well, what was gold gets eaten by silver mm -hmm. until eventually there is a silver cradle. Kind of box like thing. <laughs> Taking up space where the heart used to be, and it opens. The inside of it is incredibly plush to, for obvious reasons. And it can swivel as well, so that no matter, you know, hopefully you don't try to gain access through the front. <laughs> so if you need to gain access to the heart, for whatever ungodly reason, mm -hmm. you can just turn it around and open it that way. We're <laughs> <laughs> putting the batteries in a fox, hooray! Butter yeah. in a box. <laughs> Put it in and watch it spin. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> you spin me around. <laughs> Please Good don't Lord. spin the box. <laughs> in the spin the box in front of the red <laughs> Um, the shocks will gesture at memoir. Who I assume is still holding the heart. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, no, memoir is uh, very much in, you know, broody, anxious bird mode. Aww. Try it now. It should fit in that. Thank you. Um, and memoir will uh, give Jacques a smile and then very, very carefully slot the heart into place. And then, um,. Y'all can- can I do a thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all can, uh, roll perception if you want to hear this. Jacques can probably hear, because he's close. But y'all can roll perception if you want to hear this, and just... <sighs> Decimal, you eavesdropping shit. Of course he is! <laughs> That's a little, little shit. Okay. All right. That's a twenty-eight, a thirty. Christ. Twenty-eight. We are all snoops. Twenty-nine. <laughs> Chateau is the, is the only motherfucker ears. here. Like, yep, this is fine. This red face's ears are fucking gigantic. Do you really expect me not to hear things? Mm -hmm. I look at Lynn as well. Monkey ears. Monkey is decent. 
<laughs> and there's just a very, very quiet murmur of, you're one of my oldest friends, you know. You're not allowed to die. Come on. You can do it. Come back to us. When you close the box, there's more magic that's silver that gives it a little bit more personality and detail. Um, there's wings on it that seem to cradle it and a heart in the middle of those wings. As well as skeleton hands underneath it, holding it gently. And where his own wings give a sort of flutter of just appreciation of, of good workmanship. <laughs> Listen, and, uh, we appreciate good craft. It is very useful. Mm -hmm. It really is. Slowly there is noises coming from its inner workings. And what sounds like it's trying to boot up, but it's not entirely working. It It is alive, and it will stay alive. But there's a lot of clicking and, like, the sound of something hitting something that doesn't sound right. It, it's going to need time. And I say that it's going to need time because those of you who are close enough to see it, and if the rest of you want to take do a perception check, can see oh, that... Oh, please, a perception check. Mm -hmm. Actually, question. Say, is there moonlight say, shining on the fox? That's a good point, actually. What time of day is it? Uh... <laughs> that's a good question. What time of day is it? What time did you decide to unleash this entire What's the time, the Mr. Fox? <laughs> did you do it at sunset for the dramatics? Day. Yes. We'll say yes. Oh, God, yeah. Okay. And uh, I think it's more so a question of where they are. Is there moonlight shining on it? I mean, they're in the manor, so they ask me those. So probably yes. <laughs> um, there's there's more like little silver sparkles in there, doing something, and. I don't think it takes a lot to know that familiar magic of when Gibbs does art, mm -hmm. or when it cast, um, the few times that it did cast this cantrip. Uh, what the fuck was it? <laughs> Remember the, the meme that we did with the bird made of ink? <laughs> <laughs> I forget the cantrip. Conjure ink, like, there we go. Conjure ink. Conjure sketch. That, that bitch. Conjure ink mm -hmm. No, it, it was conjure sketch. I'm just, took me a minute to get there. <laughs> it's brain. Um, when it casts conjure sketch, it has a very similar ma magic feel. This isn't the exact same, because it, you recognize that it's not Gibbs is magic. What little bit that it can do. This is somebody else's. This is somebody... on a much higher level than the god who keeps fucking with it. Ha. Huh. <laughs> but it's incredibly weak. Hmm. She... and... As the magic kind of moves, it seems to be slowly building. Mm -hmm. Very slowly. But clearly trying to make haste. Would direct exposure to moonlight be better? Like, not we through a window? Yet. We don't know yet. And 
telling you right now, though, there is a lot of heat um, coming from the fox now, which is weird because it's usually frigid cold. Right, does anyone have anything to cool the fox down? Because I'm trying I'm trying to figure out spells on that front, and I don't think presentation. Ice knife? <laughs> no, no, Gregory, not no. ice knife. No. <laughs> We're not That's that. it. Uh, <laughs> Gregory just like slowly raising an ice knife. Everybody going, no, Gregory. <laughs> uh, slowly puts it back down. <laughs> Um, Memoir will try to create a bit of a gentle air current by, you know, moving his wings around. Aww. Because, listen, that shit works like a giant ass fan. Yeah. I'm gonna place go a seventh level song slot to do this. Are I you? I mean, we're, we're getting close to the end game. Go on, spoil yourself, treat yourself. You know what? Fuck it, I'm going to. Yeah. It's gonna be funny. Asclepius casts otherworldly form specifically for the spectral wings, which he then uses to, like, help the airflow. <laughs> oh my god. I love it. I love it. It's so extra. Become an angel specifically to find with wings. Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. Then more okay, but I hold that hand soft, though. <laughs> um, I hold that soft, though. That's yeah. cute. Murder then, I guess. Okay. It it cools down a decent amount. It it runs sort of like a fever. But whatever magic is trying to at this point clearly rebuild it is just going to do what it's going to do and the fox is more than likely going to not be clearly active until she's done with the big shit. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot missing from this fox as you look into it. They're all kind of just like, like a important thing. Yeah. They were just kind of like throwing shit out, just experimenting. I'm sorry. <laughs> what well, have fox can Oh, this is a great noise. What if I do this? Yeah. <laughs> Out, out of yeah. curiosity, um, would it be possible to, like, roll intelligence to see maybe, like, what's missing or if there's anything that can be done to help this magic along? It might take several days, but by God, we're gonna help this fox. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, you can, but... The, it's gonna be the same answer of just consistent moonlight until it's up and then time. Hmm. And keeping it cool when it gets extremely hot. Yeah. Like that's that's the basics of it. Okay, the shit post out of character. So does anyone have moonbeam? <laughs> Where's Marcel when we need him? <laughs> Genuinely. God damn it, someone get the other warlock. Yeah. <laughs> Rai, Rai, get in here. Rai has moonbeam. Just Rai, get in here. You, you know what the really funny thing is? You know what the really funny thing is? Fee has moonbeam. Because it's a druid spell. It is. Yeah. I know. It is a druid right. spell. I've seen it in practice used on a changeling before. That was fun. Hey, hey, ho, ho. Yeah, it really fucks over shapeshifters. It really yeah, it does. Really. We are we are sidetracking though. Anyway, mm -hmm. sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> what you can do is you can roll Arcana to see if you can get anything else from the magic that doing things to it at the current moment. Will do. Oh, I'll take that. That's a seventeen. Fucking you know Christ! What? Neither you rolled well. Chateau's gonna roll. And of course, yeah, you know what? Sure, of course, honey, you, you're allowed you're allowed that. Yeah, this Lynn Lynn's starting to slowly start winding down on this front. She's not interested in the magical bullshit that's god related today. Asclepius. Asclepius, what was that? Asclepius is tired. <laughs> yeah. He's so tired. Honey. Oh god. He I, I fucking I believe what Decimal just Make rolled. way for the I'm wizard. Gonna... He had to fucking <laughs> like Decimal just roll. 
What did, did decimal that twenty? No, but fucking close. Christ. <laughs> to double check, this is Arcana, right? Yes. My brain didn't make this that up. No, yeah, this is Arcana. Yeah. yeah. Twelve. <laughs> yeah, Gregory is also fucking out of it. Listen, he's been very quiet since coming back, and he's been just been anxiously watching goings on. The, the thorn of his I, brain I hold is all of you so fucking near. soft. Yep. The thorn of war getting the highest makes sense. The fucking magicless rogue getting the next highest does not. <laughs> yeah. I lay here. I don't think I can give this more much, considering he doesn't know. Sh more dick about my fox. That's more right. about magic. Just well, look yeah. at it because, like, the <laughs> vibes are this. <laughs> the vibes are good. The vibes are this. Whoever this is is trying its their best to fucking help this fox and keep it alive. <laughs> and is apparently fighting with the other one. <laughs> it's doing Which is its not best. the one with the pin in it. She's doing her best. She is very far away. I can also give him that. Like, hmm. I, I cannot explain just how far away she fucking is. I guess you could say she's worlds away. Uh, you could say that she's worlds away. Oh, she's just a plane away. Sail away, sail away. <laughs> Christ, have mercy. Um, <laughs> You did this to your fox, we'll never have mercy again. God damn. Ripperoni. Uh. <laughs> um, but... Chateau, you're the only other person who's gonna get anything, cause mm -hmm. damn. DC was a 15, it wasn't that, like, that bad. I got a 17! Nice. Yeah, no more got it. Yeah, no oh. more got it. Oh! There we go. I... I... Why? Great, no why? You do know I shit. Bray, please. <laughs> you do know shit, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, memoir pouting. I know things. <laughs> <laughs> I felt too gentle. For some reason, my brain just checked out when it saw green. For some weird reason. I'm sorry. I pat you gentle. I am 100% joking. But, I know. <laughs> Uh, what what do the people who know magic notice? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> people who know magic notice that um with the fact that I'm pretty sure that Gibbs has told you about the moon and how much like that is the one god that it knows that for sure that it had a good relationship with. Mm -hmm. And if it weren't for other things it would still be a worshipper. Or a follower, or whatever we have you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't know anymore. <laughs> it's pretty much lost its fucking mind. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. This mm. is fine. <laughs> uh, it's really not. Th this is. <laughs> this is the moon. Uh huh. Okay. This is the moon. Yeah. This woman trying, trying her best to, to help her follower, to help one of her people. Aww. It's mm -hmm. really fucking hard, because she is worlds away. Yeah. <laughs> Years away, in a completely different plane, to mortals. Yep. And is also not just having to balance all of the shit that is happening there, but also having to reach this far out yeah. to try and help. And, well, also over here, trying to fight off the, the asshole god that's got its arms wrapped around this fox. The bitch. Mm -hmm. The bitch. The, bastard, the whore. <laughs> that's an insult. The absolute fucker. From dismantling what she's doing. Mm -hmm. So she's multitasking as if she's got multiple arms and she is just one goddess, man. Yep. She's one goddess. She is doing her best. She is doing mm -hmm. her best, even primordial god, top of limited. She is certainly stretching hers. Yep. Chateau oh, has goodness. a very quiet kind of. 
Oh. Uh, and she's been she's been kind of back out of the way for most of this. Uh, but as everything kind of calms down, she does come over and kneel next to Gibbs. Uh, and just places a gentle hand on its head. I don't think she's going to say anything about who it is or what's going on, but I, I just, she kind mm -hmm. of, yeah. Listen, just because the fox may have believed that it deserved to be abandoned doesn't mean that she did abandon it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think, actually, with that in mind, Chateau might just kind of quietly, oh, she's still here. Still watching. Hmm? She doesn't elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> Says things. Refuses to elaborate. Refuses to elaborate. <laughs> Who do you? Honestly, <laughs> honestly, perfectly valid. When we're all, and this is out of character because it's going on in Lynn's head. When we're not all absolutely just coming down from that then we can shake people for answers right now yep you your secrets you wonderful funky he who yep <laughs> seems some people just... have all the luck when it comes to days pushing over them mm -hmm. mm. and will just kind of sit there and hum he's not going to be able to be removed from gibbs's side for a bit but yeah he hums and um, depends on what kind of god you get, I guess. She's a good one. If that's all that you guys have for this particular scene, if you want to jump up to a couple days from now. <laughs> we can get some healing. Yeah. You can get some soft. The, the idea and an idiot. is let us have soft. The, the idea <laughs> can have an idiot. Yeah. The, the idea of this. Once again, fucked off. Yep. Yay! Thank you. Decimal, Decimal came. Yeah. Decimal came in, caused chaos, and left. Yeah. <laughs> As he deserves. As he he deserves to have yeah. enrichment. <laughs> enrichment for the cat boy. <laughs> We gave him yeah, his exercise for the week. For the week? Are you kidding? <laughs> Lucille is going to scream at him. You did what? For how long? <laughs> and then dragged how heavy? And then did what? <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's fine. Lucille is going to destroy this man. <laughs> Lucille, please, he's destroyed himself enough. No, I, clearly I he has. Have... Gonna what be incredibly that? sore tomorrow. Um, I, I have a good answer for that. Uh, and he will step back ten feet and then fucking bam for away. He is out of here. <laughs> God. Decimal, uh, our beloved. There is a reason why my name is now Decimal Appreciation Club. Mm -hmm. It's about fucking time. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> It's about time someone been... zingers for ages. Yep. <laughs> we, we've all been thinking. You think I haven't time. been a part of the Decimal Appreciation Club the whole time? Listen, Bitch, I was cool. part of the Decimal Appreciation Club before Decimal was even introduced. <laughs> Fuck off. Listen, but I'm the only one who took initiative in putting it in my name, so. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> if you well made the t shirts. There you go. <laughs> the sibling rivalry in this chat tonight is absolutely okay. astounding, and I want to. <laughs> Know that I love you all so fucking much. Indeed. God, yeah, this is a full violence fam game. It is. Yes, it is. Yes, it, is. Yes. it is. It is. It is, and I hope it was fun for you guys. It really was. Yeah, it was. Really As really we get really into the We are getting wildly off track. Back to that few days time skip, eh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give us the yeah, let's, let's, let's wrap. Let's, let's wrap, wrap up quickly because I do have to go to yeah. work. I have to go to work uh, soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we're warm, we're wrapping up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Speed run. 
I can't do it if you guys keep talking. I love you. Okay. So, question. Where is Gibbs now? Uh, Has it been moved? Uh, it's probably in whatever room in the manor gets the most moonlight. So, okay. it's probably its spare room, honestly. Okay. So, it is going to get up. Yeah, I'm not even going to roll for it, because it is having a time. Mm -hmm. Ow. But you know what? That doesn't matter. Hey! It knows where it is! Yeah. It doesn't know why it's a lot of pain, but it is. Uh, <laughs> Who cares, though? Yeah. Uh, it's going to try and get off of the bed and see how that goes. Uh, it's going to try and Chateau no. <laughs> Chateau puts a very gentle hand on its shoulder. No, 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 no. You need rest. Uh, it is going to force its way out then. No. <laughs> because no. <laughs> no. Oh dear. Um, it is making a point to rub its cheek against her hand, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, it is very happy to see her, but at the same time, uh, no. <laughs> Pardon <laughs> me, dude. Chateau, who normally can pick Gibbs up, uh, is going to try to do that? <laughs> and decidedly this time, is Rule of Funny does not work. <laughs> it does not work, which is baffling because Chateau can always pick him up, pick it up. It's the cute factor. They can do that. No, not today. <laughs> <laughs> rule of Funny overrules Rule of Cute. It does. <laughs> so, it do. She kind of like cat. Um, she really fat cat. It, it don't go. It don't go. When the fat cat, when the fat cat don't want to go. It don't go. She she kind of pouts. It do not. No. She pouts because you need to rest. It opens its mouth to speak, but nothing really substantial comes out, save for like a couple of glitchy sounding effects. Mm -hmm. And then it turns as best it can and just kind of, well, I would say it's walking, but it's not. Um, it is fumbling the entire time. <laughs> it is trying so hard to Gibbs, get please. where it wants to go. Gibbs, please, just wait. Let me go get Asclepius. It is being a stubborn asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Ian Gibbs, which is the best thing we could have seen. Honestly. Can I at least Rest carry you? Or... Yep. Can I carry you to them at least? It looks at her and then just no. Turns <laughs> back. No. No, I'm making the do doll it. sad. <laughs> this is a crime. Stop making the doll sad. It's being a brat. <laughs> it's also kind of pouting. Like, no, I want to do it. <laughs> well, we definitely found that this is absolutely a bad character. It's a brat. Yep, there it is. There's the brat. <laughs> now the fun part is trying to go down the stairs, which I'm going to automatically just... <laughs> accept. You know, no, you know what? Downstairs. No, it's fine. it starts... And Chateau picks it up and walks it down the fucking stairs. <laughs> Don't worry yoink. about it. It's fine. Just yoink, carrying it under the arms like a child carrying a like a child carrying a giant animal it found. <laughs> it doesn't even have time to react because its response time is shit. Yep. <laughs> There's and like a light kick. <laughs> light kick. Eventually. And Wait. Chateau finally just calls. Kick, kick, kick. Just calls just Asclepius. 
Yep. It's a light kick. It doesn't even hit her. It goes <laughs> away from her because it's trying, and it doesn't even get her to do so until after she's already at the bottom. Yep. As <laughs> Cluffius comes over to see Chateau holding Gibbs and it trying to kick out, and she looks frustrated and pouty. It would be adorable if not for the circumstances. <laughs> Like a child with a wiggly cat that doesn't want to take a bath. Exactly. <laughs> it is absolutely trying to push away. Hey, hey, don't do that. Just gonna trot on <laughs> over. Just don't get the gibbs. Just gonna trot on over. Looking worried. <laughs> It's going to give him a look that he knows means fuck you. <laughs> I'm not sure what I've done to deserve that. <laughs> it's being stubborn. It doesn't either. Well, it's kind of confused, but at the same time, it's frustrated at the moment. <laughs> it's being stubborn. It is. Also, I, I don't think I can talk. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. uh, he dashes off into a side room really quick and comes back with a a small like notepad and a piece of charcoal. Oh, Joyce, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> the charcoal's gonna. Ah! <laughs> Gibbs is just gonna write mad over and over again. <laughs> angry, angry, angry. It's like those fucking talk buttons for pets. It's just yeah. mad, I'm bitch, exactly bitch, it. mad. That's a zero. That's a zero. Okay, buddy. Well, oh my god. We will get those sorts of buttons. We're gonna get it some buttons. Um, <laughs> it. As soon as it grabs the charcoal, the charcoal just kind of. Crumbles because it grabbed it too hard. Oh, honey. Sweetheart. It don't know its own strength anymore. No. It does not. It has more strength as well, so that's not helpful at all. And its coordina coordination is shite. Yep. Mm hmm. Gibbs are beloved. So it's, it's hand. Your paw slowly goes back down so that it's not as unsteady as it was. Because even though it was sitting down and, and it had one of its front paws in front of it, it was still pretty wobbly and unbalanced. and looked like it was going to flop over. Mm -hmm. It slowly puts that paw that is now covered in charcoal down. And uh, just looks frustratedly at the paper. <laughs> Give me just a moment. You can finger paint it? It's at his company charcoal though. You can just finger paint it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Give me just a moment. I'm gonna post the thing. Are you getting the art? Are you getting the art? I am getting the I'm art. Right. Hold on. I'm getting my own. I don't know what to tag it with for spoiler. I don't think I need to, but just in case it's spoilered anyways. Mm -hmm. It's so that Yay. people can have a surprise if they look at it. There we go. Yeah. That is what the fox looks like now. Let me yeah. do another thing. It have bad time. Yeah. So, okay. So it just types out the not type. It manages What's the breaking of the paper? So just write out. It starts to write out the word mad. But then it instead switches to hi. <laughs> Ma hi. Ma hi. <laughs> oh, Kim's my beloved. And it is going to force itself up, and then 
go towards you and just kind of flop against you. Gibbs is showing affection. It's gonna crouch down so as to be able to better study it when it flops. You look at its face and it is... Gibbs, in all the time that you've known it, has taken beatings, has been tortured, <laughs> possibly. I mean, you know of one instance where it's been tortured, but you didn't see the aftermath of that. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and it's never once displayed pain. It has also never cried. Gibbs is flopped against you, and it is... You can feel it trembling from the amount of pain that it is, just in general. In in general, and it's crying silver tears. But despite that, you can also see in its eyes just how happy it is to see you. Snuffies is going to um, lift them over to a nearby chair that Kara just slides in. Um, pick it up, sit down um, with it on its lap, and look at Chateau and go, Would you mind getting the others? Of course. I think it would do me good. Of course. It. And she'll go off and fetch Jacques and everyone else. Mm hmm. Dogs. It very clearly hurts to move, but it is, it is, but the time they get there, it is curled up in as tight of a ball as it can be in your lap and trying to get as close to your middle as possible because it wants cuddles. Please love it. Please give it effect. Aww. <laughs> it is being petted and all that jazz. Aww. Please hug the fox. The fox is very sad. The fox is very sad. It has had a very, very bad day. The fox doesn't even know what happened to it. It knows it's in pain all of a sudden. The fox is it. God. Bless it. Hmm. But the mental image I have, unless there's anything else, is just everyone coming in and just gathering round on this seat. Just... This fox in the middle of comfort pile. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hold yeah. very gentle. <laughs> that was amazing, and I'm having emotions. We, we did it. Emotional damage. <laughs> we got on the emotional back. damage. <laughs> Well, that's a lot of damage. Slap some flex tape on the box. <laughs> we got it back, though. We got it back, and it's gonna be okay-ish and better in the future. We got our nickel back. Hey! Mm -hmm. You did. I, I, I'm an emoji at you all. Semi, semi related, real quick before we before we dip. Uh -huh. Um. I don't know if you guys have game rewards ready, but uh, I have game rewards for certain characters who did not already have these. Ooh. Uh -huh. uh, oh, oh. Shinies. Asclepius, Jacques, and Chateau are all going to be getting friendship bracelets. Uh, hey. And I have, I have the ones I have in mind here. Ooh. So, this is the one I found that I think would be given to Chateau because sparkly and slightly lacy looking and very complicated. Yes. Um, this is the one that would be uh, given to Jacques. 
I don't have a reason. I just mm -hmm. think it fits. And then this is the one that is given to Asclepius. Dang it. Discord, stop sending images twice. Ooh. Press your soul. And so now you guys have echo connections. So if you want to be able to talk to each other, you can make a connection that way. If you want to uh, talk to memoir, you can at whatever distance you need to, etc. Just you guys are now friends. Decimal would have gotten one too, but Decimal fucked off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah, you'll just have to be given one in another FPS, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we we have FPSs planned, so. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do believe that is where we will call it then for today. Indeed. Yeah. Wow. This was adorable. Oh, yeah. love, Thank you I so you much for the great game. That was a delight. <laughs> Wait at Hex. Thank Hex. <laughs> Me oh, scrambling and panicking. Oh boy! This gives us uh, <laughs> decimal enough um, dark points to level up. Uh, what's it gonna be? Jesus Christ. Uh, it's a 10th level one rogue. Nice. It actually also gives yeah. memoir enough to level up to nine. Hey. Ooh, lucky gets another feat. God damn it. Every time y'all level up, I have to crank Thrall's level up for the final battle. We will we will worry about it, but also I think this is the time to sign off because yep. it is it's... Yeah, yeah, go to bed, you two. I love you After guys again. so much. Go sleep. I'm, I'm sorry. Go to sleep as well. Hey. Don't even worry about it. Dude. Bye. Bye. Bye.